Hello, hello. Hello. Hello, you marvelous people. Oh, hello. Marvelous people. I must be in the wrong area. I am a shit bag. No. <laughs> I feel like a shit bag. I'm grouchy and tired. Well, it just means you've had a long, long week. It's only Wednesday, Jim. A long, <laughs> long week. I will My admit. My computer's being stupid. It's been a long, long week for me, so. Oh my god, last week was the worst. Any <sighs> day, computer. Now we can play some D and D and kill some shit. Yeah. Yes. Why are you? You guys want to see a nasty ass bruise on my leg? I got trying to impress a thirteen year old girl. Heck yeah! Fuck oh, yeah! All right, hold on. All right, let me angle myself so you can see this gnarly ass. I don't have two skies open. I don't know, but what do we got? Oh, oh, Ooh. wow! What did you, you do to your run leg? Run into a rail? <laughs> no. So I was at a friend's house. And I was maybe drinking a lot, a little. Um, and there, one of my friend's teenage daughters was there. And I thought she was one of the coolest people there. And I wanted the 13-year-old to think I was cool. So we were talking gymnastics. And um, As one she does. started doing flips. And I was like, oh, my God, I lost everything I used to do. I can still do a cartwheel. And, you know, when I'm sober, I can do, like, three cartwheels in a row. <laughs> when I'm drunk, I'm going to fall on my leg ass like that and have a giant ass bruise. <laughs> I, I love how the front of your leg is your leg ass. <laughs> well, because, like, I thought I landed on my ass. But then yesterday, Aiden was like, what's that on your leg? And I was like, oh, apparently I have a bruise on the front of my leg. So... That's the only bruise-worthy thing I've done in a while. So it's my it's my leg ass. So so never do drunk gymnastics is what you're saying. I mean, or do do drunk gymnastics, and I don't know that I impressed the 13 year old, but I still think she's cool. <laughs> okay, how about this? Don't do drunk drunk gymnastics without a camera. <laughs> I'll just warn everyone, hey, I'm drunk. You might want to record the stupid shit I'm about to do. That, that's the exact warning right there. It's like, if you've got a phone, you may want to pull it out right now because we need to record this for posterity. You know, there was a ridiculous amount of people that saw me. I don't think anyone saw me flip except for the girl, the little girl. But a whole bunch of adults saw me fall and go, shkabunk. Ouch. It didn't even hurt, though. I mean, apparently it hurt because I have a giant ass bruise. <laughs> but I didn't feel the hurt. <laughs> you were in the realm of feeling no pain. I mean, I have a pretty high tolerance to begin with. Can you hear me? Uh, we can hear you. We can't see you, but we can hear you. Uh, I think we can see you now. Okay, I, the 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 thing was saying that my my thing wasn't working, and yeah, <laughs> I had to reset some things. What are you eating, AJ? Peas and a salmon burger. I thought you were eating green things. Ah, he's eating healthy. Look at that. As Talia may be frozen because her picture is not moving. She looks like she's like in the middle of like party pumping. Boom, 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 boom. She's she's <laughs> air bending. I'm drinking alcohol is what I'm doing. Oh, I'm jealous. I've only got Pepsi. I got like when I went to California, I went to H Mart and I got peach rice wine. Mm. And it comes in a plastic bottle, apparently. <laughs> I am sick of being hungover every single night uh, after D&D, &D, when I have to wake up at 4.30. So 
So I am just sticking to my regular ways of just of relaxing my brain, and I'm not drinking tonight. I'm like, are you okay? You keep looking behind you as if there's a, a mysterious horn going off or something. This is the whole story because I reset my phone. I hey, can tell we you can hear you now. Least. Yeah, yeah, I uh, okay. I found a little tripod that I've had for my phone, and uh, apparently it's in. Like where it grips the phone is a bad spot because it resets it. So. Oh, um, I have bought one or two of those types where it likes to turn off your phone when you put it in the tripod. Yeah. I fixed it, though. Good job. Well, the TLDR is I got drunk. I was just trying to impress a teenage girl and did a cartwheel and fell and bruised myself. You're impressing them or fighting them? I was impressing. I was trying to impress the 13-year-old. I don't start fights with children that aren't my own. <laughs> <laughs> Are you sure? There, I was most intrigued by the teenage, the 13-year-old. She was the most interesting yeah. person, and I wanted her to think I was interesting. Aww. Pretty sure that's illegal. Um, pretty sure man. that's illegal in all 50 states. <laughs> what? Thinking that someone is interesting? That's don't be gross, adults, AJ. Adults and teenagers. It's a no-no. <laughs> Gross! I am old enough to be her mother. That's why I think it's even better that Brittany's default was like, you were fighting her? <laughs> 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 Makes sense. Makes sense. Instead, no, like you're her impressive, older yet just as cool uh, aunt. <laughs> and I think I've multiple times was like, I'm sorry. I'm being a terrible adult right now. I'm really sorry. <laughs> Please don't take me seriously. Please stop looking at me. I'm being a bad adult right now. <laughs> the best, though. But it's okay, because alcohol was involved in all the best decisions that start with that. You know, I don't drink that heavily when my kid's around, because, you know, I'm his responsible adult. But she is not my kid, so I did not have to be the responsible adult. So it's time to cut loose and do backflips. As one does. Yeah. I cannot do backflip anymore. Um, I can, when I'm sober, do cartwheels. I promise. <laughs> it's the only thing I got left. That and, like, I can do half splits. Is that, like, only going halfway down? I can only do one leg at a time. Is that really a split, then? I mean, I can go the whole straight... <laughs> Just one leg at a time. <laughs> so is everybody in? Uh, EJ just said he's laundrying. What? And his yes, room is empty. Laundry is the message I saw on the screen. This is where Kip gets to die. <laughs> die. How is this different from every other time? <laughs> Obviously, so far we haven't killed him yet. Kip failed his constitution save and Locked fell asleep line. again. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we see you, Brittany. Yeah, I've been here. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't have my full uh, oh, sky cage up. Photogenic and pr you look like you're photo brushed. Photoshopped. Thank you. <laughs> yeah, you got like your eyeliner on, and, like, like you just look like super like up. airbrushed pretty, and I know that it's just like a live camera, which makes me like, I don't know, I'm like, yeah. Look at the people. Look at the people. And the cool I'm mug. Complimenting people. Sorry. I'll oh, my little mug. He has a saying inside. Oh, I don't know what it is. Oh, it's cup of wisdom. Cup of wisdom. That's a cool little <laughs> owl I'm mug. Not to pour my tea everywhere. Sideways. I'm confused now. <laughs> I hit something on my phone. Whatever it did, we all went at the same <laughs> <Yeah>. time. <laughs> there is an update. So, how is everybody doing? Oh, I've had an adventure this week. I'm old. That's how I'm doing. Aww. I'm a, as of yesterday, I'm officially 45. Aww. Yay. Happy birthday. Did you do good at Thank the uh, the markets? I've only gone to one market and it was eh, but there was a issue <laughs> with where we were. Oh. 
we were in this little room. We got there first and we're like, can I, you know, I'm, I'm premenopausal. Can you please put me next to an outlet? Cause I brought a fan and they're like, there's some in this room and it would have been fine. But then one of the other vendors basically set up right in front of the door. So people didn't think there was more in the room. So now I know. Oh my God. Not next event I do over there. I will not be setting up in that room again. Cause that was bullshit. <laughs> So he basically am... killed your your business flow. Pretty much. That's that's. Correct. I'm waiting for them to do consignment because I want to set up a like a bookcase or something in there. That's cool. I'm just gonna do little markets. Um, I'm still locked out of Facebook, so I don't know anything that's going still? on. Yep. Jesus, dude, that's I've heard so... it can take up to a year, and the only reason I'm not just making a new account is because my business account is still attached. Mm -hmm. uh, I just want to cry. I mean, at least it's just Facebook. Yeah. Like your thing is, I had a whole bunch of other things attached. Is important, yeah. but like, at least it's but, not like anything real of yours. Yeah, it's just it's one of those things where where I had a lot of. Uh, What's the word I want to use? Connections. Connections through my business page. Yeah. And also, I had a lot of things connected to Facebook, which I had to hurry up and try to de uh, de deconnect. Is that a word? <laughs> yeah, like deactivate. <laughs> so and even with like the buying the little robot, the house robot, or using that serial number, it didn't fix anything? Uh, well, I didn't buy the house robot uh, uh, or the Oculus. Uh, I just you used friends. A... Yeah, I friend... you said you... yeah, but I I borrowed my friends, and at least I'm talking to a person, and then she's talking to Facebook, but that's still like I just need you to do one thing. Please do the thing, and it's like they're not understanding what I want because uh... they're like, okay, I told Facebook, and then I get from Facebook, we've reset your password. I'm like. That's not the problem. <laughs> I can reset my password myself. The problem is someone needs to turn off that account for two step verification because that's bullshit. Yeah. Yeah. Although when you said robot, um, kind of a birthday gift for me, but also for my mom, I now am I'm getting a Glowforge. <gasps> so I take it you know what a Glowforge is. Yes. A glow forge is. <laughs> It's the coolest it's, uh, next thing. It's a laser I was looking printer, into it. I guess, is the best way to say. Mm -hmm. A laser um, printer? A laser kind cutter of, printer. It cu a cutter. It, it cuts things. Like, you should watch the commercial. It's pretty interesting. You go to their website. It cuts wood. It cuts metal. It cuts plastic. It cuts chocolate and seaweed. I mean, if mm -hmm. it can cut wood and plastic and metal it better be able to cut chocolate well apparently like their big thing is like you could use it for food options as well and that mm -hmm. kind of stuff because um, it uses a laser to, my food. I eat uh, my food. but um with it i could do like like if you've gone to cons and you see people with like uh <laughs> the stuff wood burned on uh, like but it's done it's so professionally where yeah. like it's the same same image over and over this thing wood burns and it does that it is... exactly the same way and those little little cats that I had, the little wooden cats. You could totally I could now make, make those. My own things. I could make Cthulhu ornaments if I wanted to. Oh, I could make stuff. Etch cool. things. Yeah. So, and um, me and my brother got a studio. So we have a little tiny studio, um, and we're gonna move the machine in there and just start producing things. So. Oh, nice. that's so exciting! Oh, I was awesome. looking into one, and I was like, I want one of these real bad. Are Are you in Tucson, Brittany? Mm -hmm. Yep. I will if if once it gets here and we get it set up. If you want to come and see how it works, heck yes, because I buy awesome. so much uh, like little laser printed stuff off of Etsy. Like I bought little potion bottles for my Tuesday night game, so we could mm -hmm. keep track of our mana potions. And mm -hmm. uh, that's awesome. <laughs> you can give me some. I have of some of those that I bought online too, just because they're fun for healing potions. Yeah. yeah. So that now I can pretty much do anything. So I'm really excited about it. That Where'd you guys awesome. set up shop about? Uh, the the little studio, it's at this place called Eastside Hive. Uh, it's where the park mall is. Well, kind of next to the park mall. Um, but if you know in that, if you've been to that area, there used to be a you like buffet there. And now it's oh, some yeah, sort yeah. of at, uh, estate thing. Mm -hmm. 
mm-hmm. literally right behind the three girls or whatever estate that that building is where our little studio is where the but it's not like the old like you take it like the auxiliary library right no 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 like no, that no. Blue building no, no, it's, like it's literally, but if it it's in the same parking lot as the girls' estate. If you just go behind their their building, that's where the building. It's this kind of terracotta ish little. It's like an artist community, and we're in this. Uh, so it's like big rooms with little rooms, and the little rooms are studios. And we got put in a studio with a whole bunch of yoga people, which my brother is all into that kind of stuff now. Um, that's so, so cool. <laughs> so it's pretty. It's going to be pretty interesting. And it's on the east side because everything's mm-hmm. northwest, Jim. <laughs> <laughs> well, we specifically wanted something on the east side because I used to work at Constacon downtown, and I hate downtown with a passion because of parking. I out there every day. Yep. So you know, my brother lives on like Twenty Second and Kolb, and I live in Reed Ranch, so it's easier to do stuff on the east side. You're out by me. I live by the. Um... Like the Target oh. loss, nightmare intersection. <laughs> yeah, I live. I yeah, I live directly in Rita Ranch, close to a fire station, a skate park, skate park, skate park. <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay. and where you're at? Yeah, because my uh, sister is Arizona one of Mills Mall guys. I'm only a couple men, a couple, a little bit away from you guys, off the ten. <laughs> how close are you to Mesa? Because I don't know where Mills is, but how close are you to Mesa? Maybe? I used to you know live Mesa has an H Mart. Yes, I know. I want to go there. Yeah, <laughs> oh my God, let's go trip, please. <laughs> yes, me and one of one, my artist friend, which I think you should meet. Her name is Yvonne. Um, she um. Wait, what? What Yvonne is she talking? Are you talking about? What? What Yvonne are you talking? Well, no, don't use last names. Names are being recorded. Never mind. <laughs> she she on online. She's known as Alusha. Um, Derek or something. That's her her pen name. Uh, Art by Ale is also one of the hashtags she uses. But she's a she. She's actually the ex wife of one of my mom's old students. Awesome. Okay. Yeah. So um, um, I would totally road trip to Mesa though, just to go to H Mart. Oh yeah, you, like, I went to the one in California. Road tripping to say hi to me. So, <laughs> well, I think we that was where she was going with that. Yeah. We could pick you up along. We could pick you up. Go to H Mart. Go to the one eat many Mesa restaurants I keep seeing on TikTok. It could be a thing. Yeah, <laughs> I, mean, I, go. I love traveling. Yes, and then because I live next to the ten, you guys can drop me off on your way back home. This is perfect. <laughs> Just somewhere on the ten, and you have to walk back. <laughs> well, I, I live like like it's a straight shot from where I live to Tucson. It's actually really great because it's also a straight shot. Like my best friend lives in Redlands and it's like a four and a half hour drive, but like I live off the 10 and she lives off the 10. So I just have to take the freeway until I get off at her house in orange. That's cool. I hate taking the freeway. It's terrifying. I hate driving in general. Mm. I've had nightmares since I was a kid. I die in a car accident. So like oh, I that- like driving. It is terrifying. <laughs> You know, I used to drive to, like, uh, border town, like, on the weekends to, like, meet my friends and shit, like, my entire life. The older I get, the more I want there to be someone else to drive one of the ways for me. (laughs) Like, I don't (laughs) mind driving there, but driving back really sucks. Which, like, I love traveling and adventuring. I hate driving, though, so it's... (laughs) Oh, the the drive to California was nightmarish. And then... Like we said... Yeah, I did. The problem was getting into California. Uh, people were terrifying me the entire time. Like, okay, when I'm driving down here, like in one one trip, maybe there'll be that one person that unsafely goes like 50 miles over the speed limit and does the weavy thing. So they pull in front of you without a turn signal, and you're like, oh god. But that's all of California. I had 15 <laughs> in one, just going from one place to the other. I counted. My, oh my, my best, my best man at my wedding, died in a car accident when he was oh, thirteen. Oof. Oof. Wait, what? Uh, Wait, what? When did you get married? So he was <laughs> dead for X amount of minutes before paramedics showed up on scene and revived him. Okay, because when you said that, okay, I'm like, wait, 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 like wait what? Purpose. You were trying to make yourself sound interesting, AJ. You're like, I had a ghost as my best man. He, he <laughs> just showed back up, so he had to interject somehow. Yeah, girl, nope. 
<laughs> I went to the I went to the H Mart up in in California, and then they had this sto- store called what is what was it called? Daiso Japan, which is a guess Japanese version of the ninety nine cent store. And so I got all these just weird little things like Hello Kitty, like Ziploc bags, and uh, some sort of onigiri maker. And I'm all for kitschy shit. <laughs> and this little llama air freshener, as well as this little uh, whatever it's called one. This little yeah, light no, of mine. No, <laughs> no it's like. It shine? crazy how much i i brought like four bags home from the h mart some of it alcohol <laughs> <laughs> which i've already gone through most of as one does but anyways okay we have a hard stop yeah. at 11 right so we yep. should probably oh why we have a hard stop i'm not gonna snore at you guys oh wait i don't snore at you guys tonight. this that's night. that's tomorrow's game that's that you tomorrow snore tomorrow night i'll snore at you guys yeah <laughs> <laughs> That's a relief because I've spent this week doing re- rebuy work with my brother, and school has started with my kids, so I have to be up at like 6 a.m. Oh, damn. Well, poor baby. I don't know what it's like getting up early in the morning. <laughs> Did I tell you guys that I send a postcard about Twixie's adventures every session to my best friend because we have a house? That's our character. I love it. <laughs> uh, so, like, this is tonight's postcard. Oh, I want to make little mushroom things for you now. I'm going to make you little mushroom ornaments. Oh, yes. Be careful that they don't look like peni. You might accidentally gift her a bunch of hanging peni. No, I'm not going to make sure the cap is really... I don't know a way to say this without it Very much. blossomed. I'm going to stop. Very uh, dignified, dignified mushrooms. Just... Just a little brag, I usually just roll out of bed at like 7.55 because I clock on to work at 8. Screw <laughs> you. My 4.30 a.m. alarm <laughs> says, fuck you, fuck you, fuck you. <laughs> and it says it just like that. Uh, my computer tried to do something weird for a second there, but I don't know what that was. All right, so everybody ready? Yes. Mm-hmm. Okay. Let's murder children. I mean, yes, let's play. So, of course, you know, you all remember that you got into the uh, the town of Wolfgard, right? You know, you yeah, got we that. were heading to the chapel, and I, I was waiting for us to get to a private room so I could hit Kip hard. <laughs> oh, that's right. <laughs> I-, I like how you're wanting a private room to abuse the Kip. Yes. Because he's pretending to be uh, special. He, he's special with his specialness. Simple. Simple. Is that the right he's word? Simple Jack. I, I think that's the appropriate word for, for this era. He is, he's okay. just simple. I mean, I think we're... touched. <laughs> okay, so we're last we left you off, you guys were just at the gate of the church. And you guys walked in and the acolyte introduced herself to you all excitedly, I recall, right? Yeah. yeah, and you guys are basically you have the run of the church. It's this nice. It's all. It's you know not run down, but it's very rustic church. Okay. So what? What is? What is the high priestess Jocelyn wanting to do in the church? I mean, Esme, of course, you know, totally has the has the run of the place too. But high priestess <laughs> Jocelyn, you you like how I say that with a little head wobble. Um, I don't like. I don't see you. You're not. Gym, you're not you. on here for me to see. I don't know why. He he doesn't. The map is the same as the town still. Yep. Yep. It's we, just, you have to use pure imagination right now. Yep. No, no. I'm saying I don't. I didn't see Jim's head bobble. I don't see Jim at all. He's not a choice. You but don't. That's okay. S- I, you don't see me. No. No. You're like little up in the top, but there's like four blocks, and you're not one of them. Oh, uh, <laughs> apparently I'm not important enough to be one of the You're big blocks. Not a Brady Bunch square, Jim. Yeah, so, um, I'm going to look at Esme and be like, "You got this, right? I got stuff to do," and I'm just gonna walk out. <laughs> 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 and I'm gone. And I'm gonna go do all the stuff I gotta do in this town. 
<laughs> okay. Be like this. I, I'm gonna blink a little bit. I'll meet y'all at seven o'clock at the bathhouse. Bye. I gotta go. I gotta. I gotta go commune. I'll. I'll. Uh, yeah. And as she kind of is excusing herself in the temple, the acolytes just like, I, 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 I shall see you later, High Priestess. And she curtsies very politely, and then turns around immediately to Esme, like, uh, your, 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 your Holiness. Let's give me a tour. And she basically Please, walks I'm through. The the song, don't leave, leave the fucking party. <laughs> <laughs> she kind of waves, you know, the room full of the pews. And she's like, here's the main worship room. Uh, there is the private chambers. And she takes you off to the side. And there's like four little private cells, as, as the monks call them. Basically very sparse room with a double bed little system. So you can sleep eight people comfortably. Well, very spartanly. And this is these are for us to use, correct? Oh yes, yes, of course. And 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 if you'd like, I, I will show you to the storerooms. And, and she kind of takes you to the back behind the church with little, you know, additional rooms that go in there because it's kind of a T shape. And she shows you that there's, you know, food stores. You know, the the community, of course, tithes food to the church to keep for storage. So of course, you know, it's it's not taxed, which is really nice. So there's like assortments of different long-term foods in there that uh, of course your 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 holiness has has free access to uh, dole out as you see see ch choose to you you and the other high priestess and uh, she then takes you over to the uh, as as you y'all were talking about the big damn room full of weapons as y'all were hoping to see this big damn room full of weapons as they take you to this little equipment storage room where there's like rakes and <laughs> farmer's forks and scythes and and like two or three swords that look like they've been oiled well and put up but they're very old and tarnished you know they've been they've been you know they've seen some stuff before someone died and re bequeathed it to the church and one really nice wood shield that somebody made and put all of the gods of light <laughs> symbols I into it better be getting this for me one of my teammates better love me enough to get this for me <laughs> <laughs> yeah let's gift it to the girl that doesn't know how to stay at the party that totally I have exactly I gotta, go stuff. I gotta go build an army okay like I i'll be well, back in a hot <laughs> <too>. <laughs> Is a shield or a buckler it's a shield i want i, want I have a wooden shield is it better uh it basically would be about the same Pretty much in D and D, shields all are plus two AC. But it's prettier. It is prettier, and it has the symbol of all the gods of light. You know, I would assume Kip would know that I want this shield and a sword. <laughs> I'm not letting Kip near anything sharp. We're not stealing from the church we're sleeping at for this five seconds after we get there. Hey, tomorrow, you know, ask that's her. awful. <laughs> I'm that I remember to tell this chick I want so this. Awful. You're <laughs> terrible, AJ. <laughs> see, see, the best part is, is as we screen swipe, <laughs> is there anything else you guys are doing in the church before we screen swipe to We're whatever our I'm dear high sure, priestess is doing? Um, Talia is going to beat Kip upset, Kip upset the head. And yes, but... once we are left without the acolyte there, I'm going to hurt Kip. <laughs> Okay, she'll, she'll, she'll gladly, you know, curtsy that, that she has chores she has to do. She has to tend to the garden. There's a little vegetable garden and a big herb garden for healing herbs. Because, <laughs> you know, that's part of her shtick is she makes herbal kits that uh, she sells to keep the church floating in uh, dusting rags. Jesus. What kind of herbal kits? God this, dog it, I'm is, not there. This yeah. is Martha Stewart that's right here. That's what you get. There's a song about what you're doing. <laughs> Y'all would like go with me to what I wanted to do. Y'all want to mess around and give religion to the masses. I don't have time for that. Please. No, we needed to get to the place where we're sleeping <laughs> and keep our cover. I'm about that. You yeah. pretend cleric. Meh, meh, meh. The Church As, of Martha Snoop Dogg. So uh, <laughs> uh, for our monster hunter, you've got Kip uh, and the group pretty much just to yourselves. You can conveniently close a nice little heavy wood door that's meant for privacy. You know, keeps the yeah, noise I'm down. Yeah, I'm going to close that door and I'm going to look at Kip and I'm going to be like, 
you had one job to not do anything stupid. And what did you do? <laughs> and did he leave? I, I, okay, I no, did, I don't see you on the camera. I, I did what everybody else was doing. I, I, I don't see what I did. I want to give Smack him upside the back of the head. Hard. <laughs> AJ, we can't see anything but your ear, man. There you go. As he's there you he's go. he's scrunching up off of camera, like Gollum, Gollum, me can see me. I love that you ro- that Talia was talking about like beating you, so you rolled for stealth. <laughs> <laughs> She's gonna smack me. Roll the stealth. He rolled so well that everyone can see him clearly. <laughs> it's like on camera when he curled up in the corner there and we could all see him. But... These fucking dice hate me. It's like, all of the dice in Roll20 need to be in dice jail. <laughs> Dude, I you rolled this Saturday fine most of the time. Game and I said like almost the exact same thing. <laughs> what day was that? I don't remember what day it, that was. It, was. it was Sunday because I had to bail because I had to go help my brother. He's got... His whole driveway is ripped open, and he's got to rebar it and get it formed up so they can pour concrete before it snows. Oof. Nasty. All, every single word you just said is nasty. To which I gotta say, come on, guys. It's September 1st. There should be no snow on the ground anywhere. Is this touching Time for me. Halloween talk. <laughs> you want to see pictures from, from last Halloween? Yes. Always. Let's see if I can find it. Uh, anyway, I'm I'm not uh, willingly letting someone slap me. Just FYI. So, uh, Talia, right, so go ahead and roll. give me a uh, attack roll. There, you can just click on strength or click on you know. Hip. Strength would be the one if you want to bip him in the back of the head. Yeah. Because it looks like he's gonna he's gonna dive out of the way. He does okay. not believe in your justice. <laughs> All right. I wonder, were you like beaten as a child? <laughs> okay. Very like physical. <laughs> so not, needless, not very good. To oh, needless well. to say, with your mighty seven, he he's he kips out of the way, no problem. Notice how I've turned his name into an adjective. <laughs> <laughs> Don't worry, it'll be an insult later. <laughs> <laughs> she knows me well. <laughs> Why are you kipping around? <laughs> you really kept this up. <laughs> <laughs> I knew somebody would take it to that place. <laughs> that's where you, that's the path you put me on, Jim. What did you expect me to do? To not walk on the path laid in front of me, paved in gold? <laughs> Little arrow saying this way. <laughs> this way, Kippeth goes. I don't have chocolate. What? And that's also Kip's fault. He probably ate it oh all. Oh my god! Legit, you had a snowy Halloween. Yes. Wait, and where did? Are you in Washington? Are you in Oregon? I don't remember. I have a bad memory. I'm sorry. Washington. Well, technically, so it snowed here. We left and went and camped on the beach for Halloween. What? That sounds fantastic. That's like two of my favorite things. That second picture was like two hours after I took the first picture. Oh, this is being shared on Facebook. Yes. I said. I'm very sad. Oh, are you not not in the chat on there? Uh, I've been locked out of Facebook for almost a month. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. Beautiful. Let me see if I can get in the Skype chat. Okay. That's so pretty. Okay, so while uh, everyone's thinking of hitting Kip and saying how pretty the shield and the church background room looks, what is Jocelyn doing as she's walking away from the church? Okay, I'm going to a blacksmith, and I'm going to take a couple copper coins, and I'm going to find out how much it would cost to be, like, you know, the little fancy schmancy brochy things knights wear on their... I don't know these terms. A brooch. <laughs> I want six. I want six eh, level ones made with just like a like a simple like my house crest on it. 
How fancy is your house crest? Like, we're just going to do a basic, like a, a, a crescent moon with three stars. Just basic. I don't know that that's basic when things have to be made by hand. A crescent moon. And <laughs> but like three this stars. Way. I, I could just go with the crescent moon if we have to. And what are you I wanting this to be made out of? Like, co- like, what are the least expensive materials? Not like the lowest, maybe one step up from the lowest. So, so like copper instead of lead? Sure. Sure, 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 sure. How much would six of those guys cost me? Six of them. And, and the guy's like, you know, he wants you to like kind of draw out the picture. And, and you, you, you kind of detail it and he's just like, okay, sure. I can, I can, I can make something like that. And he's kind of, kind of giving the eyeball to it. It's like, hmm. And you're wanting them each made out of copper. It's going to, it's going to take me maybe, hmm. I could probably make you each of them for 15 gold a piece. Okay. You have a good day, sir, and I just leave. Okay. So that's not going to happen. So now I'm going to go on um, and I'm going to go to try to recruit six recruits. I'm going to go to the orphanage and because obviously that's not going to work. So I'm going to have to pull something out of my bag to work. But I'm going to go and see, go talk to the headmaster of the orphanage and ask for six of, um, tell him like what I'm trying to do that I'm, well, <laughs> some of what I'm trying exactly to do. Exactly what tell you him tell him. <laughs> recruiting squires for myself and then I need suggestions for six of the best. The and best orphanage. You're legit taking six kids with us? And, and so he kind of. To feed. And what are you wearing, by the way? Are you still wearing your priestess vestments? Uh, yes. Any yes. Any time it gets to where like I have to renew it, I'm just renewing it to the same thing. So you look completely human, but you're wearing your priestly gown. I have my armor on. Okay. But 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 the main thing I'm going for: Are you wearing your priestly vestments? Sure. Because you're the high priestess. On, uh, yes. Okay, just just making sure. I just want to make sure that's part of the illusion you're sporting. Oh, mighty human yeah. priestess of greatness. Yeah, yeah, and that's, uh, that's go ahead and give me uh, persuasion with advantage, because you are high priestess mucky muck. And the old lady who runs the orphanage just definitely believes in the church and everything the church stands for. If only, oh, god damn, a natural 20. And she gets a little excited. Well, I mean, those I see. good six kids, sir. Thank you. As as you know, she proceeds to find uh, now. Now you're wanting them for squires or altar boys. Yes. Uh, well, I am more of the. I don't know if we spoke about this. I Bless am more child. of the hand or fist. So I am looking for squires to help me in my. Then I shall, shall bring you six of the strongest for 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 whoa, whoa, third. Whoa. I, I didn't say strongest. I said the best. That because remember, squires can potentially become knights or paladins for the Lord of Light. We need the best, not the strongest. We need bright. I can make strong, but I need bright, loyal, and brave. And and, and she kind of like scratches her head of bright, loyal, and brave. And, and she like whips out ten candidates for you that are like her her brightest, bravest, and you know, honest. Sounds like a Boy Scout. And, and she kind of right. like you know she leaves it to your uh, divineness to pick f- from them. I'm going to let them know what I'm doing, and ask how many of them would be interested. Do how many seem like they're interested? Uh, pretty much nobody like throws their hand up interested. They all like look at the the mistress of the orphanage and she nods and then they all kind of like stick their hands up like, yes. This sounds oh. like a plot from Always Sunny. <laughs> I need okay. to address so, <laughs> I to ask if I can borrow them, borrow them the day to help at the uh, churchy. 
at the church. Okay, she she will totally to tell to get an all, idea of their personalities. All ten of them to you know go to the church with you and, and do chores, you know, because it's it's what the Lord of Light would want us to do. Okay, so now I'm going to take the kids and I'm going to trek back to the church, meet up with everybody. I'm going to pull Kip to the side. Um, and I'm going to let him in on my plans um, that I'm I'm looking. Um, so I'm looking to when we're done with this. I know we kind of talked about how um, how how what we would do after this was all over. Um, I need knights, and um, these kids need better options because you and I have both been in the place where these kids are, where they've lost everything. And I want to give them something better, give them this opportunity. You were in the space. They were more than I was. My situation was different. Yours is very similar to them. I want you to see of these kids. What six do you think you would want to fight alongside when they're older? And I'm going to leave it at your discretion. I can I can afford six of them. <laughs> like how you say you Wait, can afford six of them. Are actually buying orphans? <laughs> no, no, we're not. I'm going to pay them a wage. <laughs> we are going to have to have six children in PCs with us. They're not coming us? with us. They're not coming with us. They're going to. Man, just let me tell. I'll, I'll tell you my whole plan now, apparently. They're yes, gonna, please. Does it sound like you're going to stay here and train? They're going to learn how to read and write and botany and grammars from this little nun lady. The acolyte? And I'm going to send them the acolyte. And they're going to um, do strength cra training and conditioning. And then in six months when I come back, I can take them to my Uncle Z back where I'm from. And he can train them as swordsmen and eventually knights. And then if they become knights, I can bequeath them a stake. But until then, I can pay them a wage so they can eat and earn a living. And if I die, they still are squires and they can go get another job. This that was my son. Out of left field is all I'm saying. You what? you like left us to go like hump a dragon in the air and almost get killed, and now you're adopting kids. <laughs> okay, out of neutral, baby. You're welcome. <laughs> I'm building an army. Kids. I'm what are you? Kidding. They're the dragon's kids. <laughs> She's just trying to cover up a, a belly right now. Is that what's going on? <laughs> <laughs> okay. I don't do these kids, I swear. So uh, I have to talk to the acolyte about are there any weaponries that I can I can refill my st my stash? The, there are four, three usable but not in the best condition swords. What kind? Are they like some any that use finesse or are they going to be like... Nope, nope. They're just straight up straight up long swords that were donated to the church. Okay. I'll take a long sword and um, I'll take the shield. So, so you're just walking Please. back there and you're just like, yup, it's mine and picking it up and walking no, away? I, <laughs> I, I say, do you have... I asked. I said, could I... Do you have any armaments that I could refresh my stock because on my journey on this um, what is it called? It's a religious quest. Your quest? A, Your crusade? A crusade. On this crusade <laughs> against evil, I have lost my weapons and as the you know fit, no, fist is not the right word. As the forceful side of the Lord of Light, I need weaponry. And she's just like, she points to the stuff and she's like, you're a high priestess. You outrank me. I'm just a simple acolyte. Okay. And I'm going to get something to eat and I'm going to do whatever the group wants. Keep an eye on these kids. Make sure the kids get something to eat. And I'm just waiting until it's time to go take a bath. Is this like blasphemy stealing from a church? Is there like, are you going to get smited? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I, I think 
apparently she's no. pretending to be a priestess and she's like she's pretending to be the boss of everyone so i guess it's only a crime if kip does it if she does it she it was a gift from the church it was tithe <laughs> And uh, the acolyte will look at uh, Jocelyn and say, uh, w- would you, and she kind of like looks up at the, the sky and the skylight and she kind of notes where the floor and the mosaic floor with his carvings are, the, where you see symbols carved in the floor. And she just says, Priestess, uh, would, would you like to do the, the ceremony for the, the high sun? I am going to let Esme do that. I'm not even in the room, you hag. (laughs) (laughs) Let me go get her because she gets very sensitive if she's not included in things. It's because she's kind of short. It's okay. (laughs) We're going to include her. Plus, I've got to watch these kids. I'm trying to decide which are going to be the best new kind of acolytes for the Lord of Light. So let me go get Esme. She's going to do that. I'm going to watch these kids. I'm going to tell Esme, hey, um, the, a- the acolyte is yep. looking for you. Um, since you wanted to do. I like how she just dismissively hand waves. Your stuff. I, I gotta, I gotta, I gotta, I gotta sit over here is what I gotta do. I gotta write some letters. That's what I actually have to do. <laughs> and I'm going to start you writing a letter to my dad telling him I need making. money spent. And, and yes, of course, there's a scribe's kit in the corner, a little desk set up so you can so you can write some letters. Yes, and one to, to Uncle Z to tell him if he doesn't hear from me or after six months that there are squires here um, and he needs to send money to get them. <laughs> so, uh, so you're 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 going to get Esme first, right? Yes. Yes. I already went and told her, like, hey, the acolyte's looking for you. I make a face at you, and I raise my eyebrow. I'm like, are you just going to throw all of your duties at me? Because it's kind of (laughs) shitty. First off, you wanted to come here and do all this. I wanted to get a weapon and leave. (laughs) I am doing my job. Why don't you do your job? job. Get us to Alakia and kill the evil bad. That's what I'm I trying already to do. I can't do another listen to her. I listened to her while she babbled about this horrible place. <laughs> I took a tour of this place. You got you're food the and a sword and now yeah. you're walking away. Look up. Don't let anyone tell you to be quiet or stay in a spot. Nah, stay in your spot, sister. <laughs> We're flying around wow. <laughs> <laughs> There's about to be bloodshed in the temple, so of course the acolyte no, look at, looks at Esme like, uh, "Would would you like to do the ceremony for the Lord of Light?" And she's very excited. It's it's been been four years since there was a priest here to do the ceremony. I look at you, and I blink, and then I turn and I tightly smile and I go, "Let's do it." Hey, you children, want to learn a new ritual? <laughs> Okay, and, and I invite, I invite, I like I invite the kids to come do the ritual with me. That's good. I like to see. I'm gonna watch and see which ones um, seem to be like picking up, and I'm gonna ask um, Wigsy. Hey, I need you to like kind of since you're really perceptive. Can you kind of keep an eye on these kids and see which ones seem to be like good kids? I can't wait. Why till am these, I a part of it? I can't wait till I'm these so kids grow up and kill kids. Jocelyn for being a demon in disguise. I I want because <laughs> in general. <laughs> Fine, Yay, Twixie! Like, <laughs> I mean, I wonder why you're all suspicious of this woman. <laughs> you know, I'm gonna roll. Took it to a bad place. I'm trying to investigation. Save these kids from to give them a job. Insight. Insight. I'm making of sex workers. So, 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 so wow. <laughs> There's no shame in sex work unless they're children. So, so you're looking yeah, to do exactly. insight into Jocelyn's motives? Yeah. So that's. I'm that's... honestly trying to help these kids. That's what I'm trying to do. But um, also, I can like... I can I can I like help her because I'm also sus- I've been suspicious for a while well, the, there's and this- we, we know she's not an actual cleric by now right you've I mean, kind of figured obvious. that out when she rolled that poorly that poor poor deception that one time you know that natural one and you know 
With the fact that she hasn't healed anybody yet. She's not that kind of cleric. Only gets you so far in Adventureland. <laughs> so uh, with with your I sixteen to I insight, you pretty much can discern her 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 motives. Which which as as Lexa, you you said she's genuinely wanting to 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 raise these kids out of uh, squalor and right. Yes, that's honestly what I'm trying to do. So so you get the sense that that she's not just trying to make a small army just around herself, but uh, actually, you know, give these kids a helping hand because Wolfgard is a shitty town. I mean, basically, they're going to get, when they turn 18, the general is going to put them to work, and they're going to be those Jamuk guards outside of town harassing people to take off their clothes. I, I, I thought just did that because he wanted to. No, no, you all did, did that. I did not have to get naked. Oh, but that's because I'm a, I'm a cleric. Because you're a cleric, and there's no way a cleric first. would get infected and not tell everybody immediately for the greater good. I'll watch the kids, but I still have no idea what's okay. going on. Okay, so, so the kids kind of get put to chores. The acolytes kind of like giving them busy work to keep them out of trouble. And, you know. to do a ritual. And, uh, you know, as soon as the acolyte hears that you're going to do the midday celebration, she, like, gathers the children in, and uh, she goes up to Esme looking all sweet and demure, because, you know, she's only, like, 23. She's really young-looking. You know, she works really hard for the church. And she comes up to... Can she even read and write? Like... The acolyte? Does she... Yes. Yeah, yeah, the acolyte can read. She was trained by the old priest that was here. You know, she actually has a few spells she can throw out, but she has very limited capabilities. You know, the Lord of Light has only blessed her with a smidgen of his power, as opposed to your mighty priestesses who are gifted overwhelmingly with, with the Lord of Light's power. Or, in Esme's case, the, the, the Lady of Light. I was going to say, y'all keep ignoring my god, you keep ignoring me. Like, I'm going to be a little tiny little pain in y'all's ass. Hey, like, the Maiden of know. Light, which is what they call Freya, is a very I important know, goddess. I'm glad that you, you corrected yourself. You could totally turn the Acolyte towards her more than the Lord of Light if you wanted to, to try. I'm just saying. More maidens need to know that there is a warrior goddess for, for young women who love love and war. And, you know, the light. Willy. <laughs> And cats, and you know, cats. The sun shining on you while we're murdering and fucking. It's really cool. <laughs> <laughs> for the night is dark and full of terrors. So, uh, Esme, go ahead and give me a religion roll as you're doing the, the midday ceremony. Mainly because you're like, really? It's about him? Why has it got to be about him? As you, can't, you... Uh, you know what? Depending on how I roll... I'd like to do my own Freya twist on it. And like, it's not, it's like the technically what I'm supposed to be doing, mm -hmm. but it, it has my own like little twist for Freya. And it's kind of an F you to the Lord of the light, but so, it's technically following all the right rules. So, so you're doing the ceremony, but you're putting a quite emphasis on the maiden of light as how she will go off into battle the darkness. And well, the Lord of light will sit on his canter. She will go out and save the people. Oh, no, I won't even mention the Lord of Light. Every time that you're supposed to be mentioning him, I mention Freya. I do not mention the Lord of the Light. I am very much mentioning Freya. This is the light, <sighs> the midday ceremony for Freya. And, and, killed. and pretty much at the... My God is real. Just because it's different than your God. Like at the exact racist, moment you finish... You kind of turn around from the altar where you're doing the spiel and you realize that the kids are there, of course, sitting in the, at the first couple of pews. And there's about 10 or 11 town folk that, that filtered in, knowing that there's two priestesses in town. And they're just like transfixed watching this, this little person doing the ceremony with such a vivor. person at the very least. <laughs> 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 and they just, you know, you immediately see that they're all on their knees. They, they, they slumped forward. They took the traditional prayer pose and they were going along with you in the ceremony. And they're all just looking at you with big, bright, hopeful eyes. Hold on. Is this not like a ritual? Did I just hold church? Did you just trick me into holding church, Jim? You just did church. Bless. Ah, you may. Alms for the, the church. Hit him up. Wow. <laughs> 
as, <laughs> as you know, the, the people look at you and you just see the bright eyes that they're so happy to have a religious leader there, you know, to help protect the flock and the true believers. A a and you're seeing this murmur of people like nodding and looking at you with just joy in their face. The, the, the sunlight has, has risen their spirits as you're sitting there at the little, you know, sunroof has the beam of light all around you filling you with warmth and goodness and you can feel Freya's grace upon you my Jesus is real boom <laughs> my God better than your God <laughs> my God does thing my God makes that's me what warm. I'm saying that's when I'm place. under the sun my God keeps me warm <laughs> oh <laughs> Oh, God makes it rain. <laughs> <laughs> isn't, that, isn't that you being God at the strip club? <laughs> <laughs> uh, dollar dollar bills. <laughs> 50, 50, I just finish up my yeah. letter and ask ask Kip, does he does he see six kids he thinks of yet? What are we doing? Can are I can I minor bills? illusion like a ray of light coming down on Esme because I feel like these people need help. Or hope. Aww. I can do that if you want, and I don't have to use the spell slot. Well, you're busy <laughs> writing a novel back there in the back room. I appreciate that. <laughs> I want to just minor illusion, like extra light coming in from the window on us. <laughs> and like a, 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 a chorus going, oh, you know, like a chorus <laughs> I could use thaumaturgy to do that if you want. I could do I could do sound or an image. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I'll, make us, I'll do the opposite of I'll 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 bond with her by doing that. You see the ray of so light and you make the you chorus. Do? Are you doing an image? Could I do just like the ray of light? <laughs> I'm gonna use thaumaturgy to like make a oh or whatever a holy sound would be the angelic like chorus these people are sad <laughs> and I'm uh going to, obviously well, I can it, tell this it might magic, help right with our orphan children right because yeah. i think they're we're really trying to help them and, and the orphan children are watching really intently are. <laughs> so uh esme in fact feels like a little little magic boost to herself right now, by the way. She feels like uh, Freya is giving her blessing right now. Oh no, is Freya you're giving me blessings or am I friends with a bunch of jerks? <laughs> Freya is giving you bless so you can add 1d4 to a d20 roll that you do in the next hour. Oh. As what you look in the one people... A 1d4, yep. Whenever you want to choose to use it, just like the blessed spell, only it lasts for an hour, and you're, you don't have to concentrate on it because the goddess is. Ooh! And you so feel you're saying my God is real. Your God and is real, and she's teachers. watching, and she's proud of you, because all these people are looking at you, and they just see that the lights, and especially when your friend adds extra effects to it, because it becomes then a total, total rock concert version of church. <laughs> As oh, says you, you, di you divinely feel that her blessing is upon you, and what you did was the right thing. You're and, welcome. And <laughs> I would like you all to remember that you guys just backlit and like gave me like church music, and I'm like three foot fucking tall. I just yeah, I you're just shorter want than in your head. You're shorter than me, the gnome. Yes. <laughs> I just I just want you to remember how tiny I am. <laughs> and it's funny cuz like when uh you keep moving your head in camera there your your fairy lights in the background sparkle around your, a halo around your head. So uh yeah, it's hey, totally look, out of game, whatever Jesus I picked is real too. <laughs> or I just have twinkle lights. It's I the like twinkle, twinkle lights. lights. I like my twinkle lights. They make me happy. So uh, the people, of course, you know, they're each wanting to, to, to shake your hand and to feel the blessings of Freya. Is there anything you're doing now that the pews are full and you realize that your ritual was total legit? And the fact that the people are wanting more. I mean, if you would like to give them a full-on sermon, you could. <laughs> hey, dude, <that's> <laughs> um... You have a. What do you mean by full? How many people are how in here now? How much time until my bath? 
Uh, you still have like two hours till bath time. <sighs> okay. Um. And to answer uh, Lex's question, there, there's 11 uh, townsfolk there, plus your 10 oh. orphans, plus the acolyte, plus any of the adventure group that was polite enough to sit and listen to the, the blessing. Okay, so not the whole town. Okay. Cool. No, no, only about uh, 11 of the townsfolk, which is quite a bit because, you know, they saw two priestesses go to the church. You come to the church to get blessed when you can, when you're, you know, you may not be staying. Um... I don't know that I will do a full sermon. And Kip is blinded by the light. I, like, what? Is there, like, a... I can, can I hold, like, a Freya Q&A sort of thing? And just, like, like have, a, like, like, a... I don't know, like, like that, that, that like, trashy youth pastor uh, vibe, you know, where he's sitting backwards in the chair. <laughs> <laughs> trashy youth pastor. Okay, so you want to give them the real, the real lowdown. And the cold and I'm not going to talk about the blood of light at all. Period. Like he does not exist. Like it's a re different religion. It's like going to the synagogue and talking about Jesus. Okay. Like I am legit okay. holding Freya session. Okay. I'm okay. So I'm liking female pe females in charge. Go ahead, keep going. <laughs> <laughs> I can down this. I, I'm glad that I have your permission to do what I was going to do anyway. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just giving you advantage if you need it. <laughs> okay, so uh, so Kip, what's with the natural twenty in religion there? After you were blinded by a beam of light, you saw the light apparently. <laughs> apparently, uh, he's going to that. become a uh, Freya worshiper. <laughs> uh, this uh, this summons very moving to me. Got a little, <laughs> little tear in my eye. <laughs> Which really means, you know, Kip's like. Oh, yeah, I read those religious texts about her and sex. I read those little <laughs> pamphlets the church made. Praise the Lord. <laughs> he's, he, he's telling the little juveniles this. And I'm like, oh. <laughs> and Freya let the whole world in her. Mm. Mm. I won't finish the <laughs> sentence. <laughs> You yeah, put Kip with children. We had have gone. <laughs> so, uh, Esme, give me a uh, either um, like a charm check if you wanted to like woo these people with your presence, you know, or you know, persuasion type of thing. Or do you want to use religion to just you know you're you're you're, you're giving them the, the straight skinny? I'm more charismatic that I am religion according to my, religious according to my stats okay and I did say I was going to be that, that 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 really bad youth pastor look thing going on and those guys only pulled that off because they're cheap charisma charismatic and cheesy okay so you got a 23 because I'm giving you advantage by the way oh yes because you know your 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 blessing was so spot on legit that they're just like whoa and then you know you come out and you're just like it's Freya session time <laughs> and there's nothing cooler than watching a little halfling flip a chair around backwards and sit on her stool and just <laughs> lean down and everyone's like lifting their heads over the pews to look down upon you because they want to see you're every so expression because you are so pure so holy so compacted so awesome you aren't even touching the ground. <laughs> right? I was just imagining my little feet kicking like a baby in a high chair. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I'm loving it. Go with it. Or you jump up on the chair so you're like eye level with him sitting down. Yeah, I'm sitting. I'm sitting. I am too lazy to stand for two hours until it's time for bath time. <sighs> We're doing this for two hours? I got stuff to do. <laughs> I am bored. I am making my way and in being interested until it's time for me to do something. So so how long yeah, are you going to keep the Freya the session right. going? Um, and of course it's funny because my dog keeps looking over the wall at me every time I say your name. Oh, sadness. Oh, okay. Um, I would say so how long was my accidental mini sermon? Uh, you, well, how long do you want to stretch it? I mean, 
sense. Well, no, because I, I, knowing how long the ritually thing that ended up being a sermon is depends. Will make me to de- help me determine how long I chit chat with them before I get bored. Well, well, your blessing basically what a half hour, basically eleven forty five to twelve fifteen. You know when the sun is at its highest point. Okay. Conveniently, so the probably... scriptures on the floor carving tell you exactly when that time is. Okay, so if I was sermoning for half an hour, I could probably shoot the shit for another 45 minutes. <coughs> okay, so you basically give them a nice little 45-minute free Q&A session. You know, if, if, if my neighbor steals my goat, what should I do? And you do the whole, well, Freya says, you ask your Stab neighbor for your neck. goat back. <laughs> and if not, you steal his house cat and make it yours. <laughs> so you give them the, the, the real real for real talk of the Freya. Okay. Is is there anything particular during your speech you're gonna angle for other than to remind everybody how Freya is better than the Lord of Light because the Lord of Light absconded from this conversation. Um Ignore the girl with all those birthday rings. <laughs> I I'm mean, saying, I do, you went into this got, one to milk these people dry. <laughs> I kind of got roped into this. So I'm just taking advantage of my time. Like, I did not, was not planning on doing this right now. I was going to relax before my bath time. But no, my, book up, reading, my book reading time got taken from me. So I'm just making <sighs> the most of it until um, I, you know, I'm doing my duties. And I am talking awesomeness about Freya and completely ignoring the Lord of Light until I, you know, have have capped out. You know, I want, I still want to go read my book. And, and everybody, you know, when when they start, you know, kind of filtering out, you know, to get back to their daily duties and things, you know, everybody comes by and wants, of course, you know, that that typical shake your hand on the way out the door, and you know, thank you for your blessing and. Yeah, quite a few of them, you notice, are asking, how long are you guys going to stay here at the church? Is the church reopening? Forever. My answer is, I go where the lady tells me to go. I cannot make any promises that I'm not going to keep. Ooh, but I as like long that. as I am here, you have my blessing. And it will extend after I am gone. And then uh, one of the last people you can tell they're, you know, they've been sitting there praying while everybody else was leaving and walking out their hand. It's this, this lady that you can't quite tell her age. She's wearing very minimal clothing. Obviously, she looks like a farmer type person. You know, she's got the, the burlap sack type of clothing with a big white brim hat that she's holding. She walks up and uh, kind of like seems to be very evasive to, to talk to you, but she really wants to talk to you. She keeps clutching her hat in her hands. And... Uh, you, you kind of see her as she comes up in line as the next person to, to shake your hand. And she says, wait, can I perception check her to make sure she's like not a threat? Depends. Are you finished writing your, 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 your war and peace? Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> she took like two hours. Yeah. She <laughs> yeah. Had, like, two letters to write. Minutes plus 30 minutes is an hour and 15 minutes. Okay, so so well, just like wrote those two letters. <laughs> just, just like on, on cue, once the hard work is done, Jocelyn's ready to come back to church. <laughs> okay, so give me a perception check then. Yeah. Oh no. She seems to be exactly as I described, some some regular commoner that uh, basically seems very anxious to talk to Esme. And obviously and, she's acting in a way that I have noticed her. Mm-hmm. She seems really nervous, but she, it's that, that anxious look where it's like, you know, they want to talk to you, but they don't want to like meet you. So you know that okay, from conventions. Like, when there's a couple people left in line and like I see her just kind of pacing around, I'm gonna excuse myself and walk straight up to her and be like, "How can I help you?" And, and, and you... she 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 looks down at you because you know she's human, five foot six ish, and, and a single tear kind of starts to trace down her cheek as she kind of turns to to look like if see if there's anyone behind her that you're talking to. It's it's kind of cute in a sad way. And you notice that on her shoulder, she's got some some burn marks. It looks, you know, looks like a year or two ago she may have been burned. And, and she looks at you and says, I, I, I'm sorry, priestess. And she immediately drops to her knees as she realizes, you know, how rude she's being talking to the priestess by looking down upon you. And she drops to her knees to be at your eye height. 
And, and she She's just, so she kind of puts, my eyebrow with that. Just she puts so. her hand, her hat down on the floor so she can look at you and she holds her hands up. She's like, priestess, may, may I please ask a favor of you? You can ask me anything you want. Whether I will do it depends on what you ask. As she 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 looks at you and you just see tears come down both her cheeks. She says, "My my my husband is very ill, and I I, I would like to see if possibly Freya would give you the strength to give him his strength back. If you could give him a healing or a blessing, I've I've heard the church can do amazing things with their powerful priests and priestesses." What about she, you and your injuries? My my injuries have healed, but but but. A few years ago, we were attacked, and my husband, he's, he, he, he was hurt horribly bad, and he has been of poor health ever since. But, but he is unhealthy, and unfortunately, the, 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 the general says if he's not healthy enough to get back to work, we won't be given our food stipend for the week. Well, I know I, I follow the stranger danger policy and um, I definitely would need a friend to go along with me. Um, I'll go with. I'll go. I with. can also heal. I was, I was say, <laughs> yeah, I was like, I, I, me and Twigsy <laughs> will be your escorts. As Twigsy okay. says, let me introduce you to my Lord and Savior Shroom. <laughs> <laughs> Um, go with the flow. Let me check the time. Um, I do have a pre an engagement I cannot miss, um, but we should be able to at least go talk to your husband. That 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 would be wonderful. If if, if you'd like, I could meet you here at the church and take you there. I I, I could, and she kind of like looks at your compatriots there that are volunteering to come. I could I could have a meal made for all of you, so you could have supper at our house tonight. Oh no 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 no. We can give we can give you food. You don't have well one we can heal you, but we have food here that we can give you so that way your husband has time to get back to work. And I look at the acolyte and I ask for food. So all y'all gonna heal. I'm gonna give her food. Beat <laughs> yeah. There you go. <laughs> Are you gonna come along and meet her crippled husband? No, because y'all made it this little girl's click. I'm going to stay here. <laughs> and, and, and immediately the act like kind of. Like, I asked if any of y'all wanted to come. I, before I could even ask, they volunteered. And I'm sorry, who abandoned me at a bar to go drink with a boy? <laughs> oh. I just abandoned funny. you. I left. <laughs> I, I, I hope you're not having this conversation in character. No. no. So the acolyte no, kind of no, comes up to Jocelyn and, and she's just day. like, Hi, Priestess, how much food should I give them? How many, how many people are in your family? Oh, oh, unfortunately, it's only my husband and myself. That's why it's the problem. If, if, if neither of us can work, that, uh, that we wouldn't be allowed to have our food stipends. We need enough food for a week for two people. And the acolyte curtsies and she says, I, I shall return. And she that goes running off to go back to the, the, the stash and fill a basket up with an assortment of goods. We'll, we'll all go together. Kids, you're about to go see what we do. Field trip! <laughs> As all of a sudden, when you, you say that, money. she's like, I, I don't think I could feed 14 people. I'm I not could... expecting you to feed us. Can I, like, pat her? Is she still on her knees? Yeah. She is still on her knees. Let me pat her on the head and be like, you are not taking care of us right now. We're taking care of you. Stand Aww. up and lead the way. And give me a persuasion check as she has tears rolling down her eyes. She can like practically feel that glow around you come into <laughs> her as you pat her. And she's just like, yes, priestess, with your dirty 20. <laughs> hey, it wins a win. As she's just, she, she immediately stands up and, and wipes her cheeks with her, her grimy back of her head. She's just like, thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much. I, 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 I will be back here. When, when would you like me here to guide you back to our, our, our humble home? Why don't we go now? Yeah, we're planning on going now. We have a, an engagement in a little bit. So we have time before our engagement. We're just going with you now. Uh, okay, hey, hey, excellent, excellent. And, and she basically, uh, you know, immediately like super spring in her step. The other folks that you bypass to talk to her, kind of like, Bye. may the Lord of Light bless you. 
and, and they all smile. They're just like, wow. You're talking about Freya. May Freya bless you. This is a Freya session. The Maiden of Light is too. so strong. If only she stays here with us, this would be amazing. We must tell the other villagers about how great she is. We want Esme to stay as our high priestess. <laughs> I have zombies to kill. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> and, and the but little I wouldn't old... mind having a church of Esme to come back to. That does have a nice ring the, to the it. The little old lady guides you and your ten foundlings, you know, to, to you know across town, and people are gawking. I mean, they're looking at you guys. So as as, they should. as uh, <laughs> you guys get to the place, you see this little shack. I mean, you can totally tell this is something that that a couple years ago somebody put up. And it was meant to be temporary housing, but they've had nothing better. So they put like cloth to fill in the gaps. And it's basically a shanty, you know. And, and she kind of like says, just one moment like it, my husband. And she kind of pops in the little tarp that serves for the front door. And she's talking very excitedly. And she's like, husband, husband, there's a there's priestesses at the temple. And you just hear this like curmudgeon -y growl of like, there's no priestesses that could save me. I this this I I'm gone, woman. You should just leave me here to die. <laughs> and, 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 no pressure or anything. <laughs> and, and she oh, kind of <laughs> kind of pops out of the, the the shanty. And of course, there's other shanties in the area too. You notice this is kind of like a refugee camp that that's kind of not gotten no, better. Spell build houses. <laughs> <laughs> And she kind of, you know, comes out of the, the, the hobble and she's just like, my, my husband's not well enough to, to get out of bed. If, if I, I apologize for the condition of our home. And she kind of like looks at it and you see like one sad board kind of sway in the wind. As you know, you know, she does the whole priestess and she looks at both of you. Would you, would you come in and, and see what you can do for him? We got this. Come I with me. Around. Come with me. Do they John. have like a little farm or garden? Uh, they've got like the saddest little tomato garden ever. It's like so three have, little I sad have plant plants. Growth. We can Aww. plant on their land and give them like Wait. more fruits and veggies and harvest. I'm gonna I'm gonna go up to Twigsy because she's perceptive, and I'm gonna be like, "Hey, when when you look around here, do these people look like they're poor?" Or do they look like they've been made slaves? Or like, do these people look like they're free? You know what I mean? I can, I can like definitely just, just give you, they look like refugees, not slaves. Refugees, like they're... Concentration camp refugees. Well, guess, uh, yeah, like, are they, are they in this status because of their own? Or is someone keeping them like this? Well, remember when you came into the town of Wolfgard, how it's got that mile of desolation because werewolves are in the woods so people basically if their village gets attacked they have to go somewhere and this place is known for protecting people it's just that uh the general who runs this place and of course you know your your ranger can tell you the soldiers get preferential treatment and food and everyone else gets what they have left over. So there is a, a slight socialist, almost like the Roman Empire, how citizens were given grain and bread as part of their their weekly stipend. These people get food, but the soldiers get the pick of the good stuff. But they, they are still, in Roman times, free citizens that they could leave. Yeah, they could leave by all means, but you realize these two people okay, leave that checkpoint. Go. They're going to get eaten by the first sure. first thing that moves in the darkness and makes a noise. Just make it sure. <laughs> yeah, you don't yes, get you don't get the the indentured servant. They want. You don't get the indentured servant feel, but you do get the okay. service is has merits, and the more you do, the more you get rewarded. And since these are basically two people who've had hard living and are in bad shape. They can't do much. So since they can't do much, they get the bare minimum. And since they have no kids to serve in the the, the army, you know, a lot of the folks get by quite well because they have a son or a daughter to serve in the uh, militia. And that alone will keep them set in food and, you know, whatever they need. Thankfully, the general has outlawed water merchants because everyone should be allowed the privilege of water. 
that the general makes sure to have water stationed all around this community in case there's fires. Because we all know those douchey werewolves. They have multiple bathhouses. God, they're going to let people bathe but not have water to drink. You know what? Never mind. I'm a hey, there's many Is the water blessed in the city also because of the war creatures? Uh, the, mo the water is not blessed because they have no holy folks to do so. Oh. They would love someone here, but apparently the church, you know, the last person they had here, the, you know, priest wise, went off to go do some good works and never came back. Do you have consecrate uh, water, Esme? Because you can, like, on the fountains, you could, like, etch in a symbol, a holy symbol, and then that would be, like, a blessed fountain in the town. That sounds like an excellent thing that I wish I had. And remember, any any cleric or wisdom caster cleric that can create, uh, or paladin, can create holy water. It's a special ritual that uses up, like, 50 yes. gold. But you can make holy water. I, I oh, love so, how yes. Jocelyn just made this icky face, like 50 gold. <laughs> yeah, I know that I can, I can make you. holy water. You made sure you, you gave that, made that very clear to us, which is awesome. Mm -hmm. I mean, maybe I can like bless a fountain or something like, but Remember, I don't it takes know. 50 gold though. So you'd have to take up a collection. Well, that would be to make actual holy water. Which burns this evil supernatural creature. Oh, okay. And uh, just as she's asking uh, Jocelyn or Esme to come into her hovel, uh, Lexa, go ahead and give me an intelligent saving throw. Oh, good. Uh, I, I, I think I'm hitting the right button. Is this right? Oh, man. Wow, a four. <laughs> you We're might just be losing track of time, by the way. Uh, well, I, I'm, I'm, I'm losing to... track of time. Can't you see on her face? <laughs> I'm going to, I'm going to obviously recast <laughs> and use a sorcery point. Okay. So who's going in the hovel, by the way? I am obviously. As me. Anyone going in there with Esme? Well, uh, can I percept it first? You can percept that it's a very small 15 foot by 15 foot shanty. Oh, I don't know shit. It seems like if all of you were to go into it, it would fall to the ground. Oh. How is it look are there like, even if how like two of the people going in are tiny peoples? No, yeah, no, we only count as one people. Two or three yeah. of you can walk well, in. I'm just saying if... Of each other. We still if, take up two people's worth of foot space. Oh, do we get a trench coat? <laughs> we have a flat one yet. We need one. Or clothes. Um, so who's going in with said, Esme? Oh, I'm staying outside with the kids. We're going to clean this uh, yard up. If there's rocks or something, we're going to move them. I'm going to have them start th and tell them, like, this is stuff pages and squires learn how to do. This is stuff you need to learn how to do because you're going to have to be able to do this stuff. I'll go in with and Esme. We're going to try to help them out. Go. Okay. I'm so gonna, can, I, can I roll perception as well? Sure. Because I'm going in. Okay. Okay. Okay, so uh, the three paranoid perce the, the the priestess and the two paranoid perception people go inside the <laughs> shanty, and it's literally dirt floor shanty, you know, shack with all of their belongings hung up on pegs on the wall. They scream dirt poor, but you notice that uh, he does have a really nice woodworking kit in the corner. Obviously, he's a carpenter by trade. But uh, you look at the guy in the bed, and he's just like the sheets are soaking wet from sweat. She's got a bucket of water there for him, and, and he seems to just be super frail and rickety. You know, it looks like he's got some kind of illness. Okay. To, um... Do a medicine check. That's, yeah, that's better than me trying to ask him what the hell's wrong with him, which I was going to do. <laughs> um... Okay, so with your 10, you definitely yes, know he's got some kind of illness. Oops, his what? As apparently our ranger is also doing a medicine check. Only two of you can kiss his forehead at the same time for temperature. Okay, like, oh. I, I assume... I didn't mean to do well. that, so just ignore that roll. The two okay, of you are now I, I contaminated. The healing person would be doing the medicine check. Silly me. I No, I, I promise I wasn't trying to do that. <laughs> There's a reason I'm wearing two sets of glasses right now. I can't see shit. <laughs> so, so uh, I will say that for Brittany's role, 
Esme helped, and that gave her advantage of 10. Really doesn't help much. You guys realize, yes, he's got some kind of rickets type of disease, as well as, you know, something, you know, he, he, he's been partially burned years ago. But some kind of disease has kicked in since then that he's just got like some kind of horrible dis lingering disease that just won't go away. If someone so, had the spell restoration, that would totally straighten him up. You know, I actually have lesser restoration, and I'm just going to roll with it. And what does that do? So it's a uh, touch spell where I touch a creature, and here, I'll let y'all read it, if I can press the right Don't button. Don't forget you got What the hell? Don't forget you have blessing. I do. I have an extra 1d4. I am very aware of that. Um, I don't think that that'll help with that, though, because this is, I, it's just a spell I cast um, where I touch and I can either end a disease or one condition affecting it. Okay, so would you like to make his disease evaporate away? I would like to use my cleric voodoo sense and kind of, like, direct it towards whatever in his body. I'm going to do that like that crazy person. Okay, here, 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 here. I gotcha. I gotcha. Uh, dear Freya, um, use your guiding hand. Find the, effect, the part of this poor soul who is most afflicted and free him from it. That's Hallelujah. And she, you're, his, the wife's just in the corner and on her knees praying along with you. She's swaying with your words. And you cast Restoration. And, and what does it look like when you do Lesser Restoration? So I do have to touch him. Um, and I'm going to say that I'm fl feeling a little flary after, like, I'm feeling a little touch from a little uh, light on me. So it's going to be, um, when I touch him, it's like little silver sparkles coming from me. Sparkle, sparkles, sparkles. Silver sparkles, yes. Okay, like, and... Okay, is this the game where I have my sword? Do I have my my, my spiritual weapon? Well, you yes. do. I mean, yes. it's not okay. out. You can, you no, can summon it. So you know how my spiritual weapons, like this, like, flamey light of blueness? Uh-huh. It's like that, but silver. <laughs> okay, and as your sparkle sparkles hit him, you just see him kind of like make this cough cough, and immediately he pulls in breath like the first time he's ever breathed fresh air, you know, like a diver, deep sea diver coming up and getting that first good hit of pure air, and he just like looks at you with gouts of tears coming down his eyes with joy that he feels that whatever has been his ailment is gone. And then he gets kind of like overly excited and immediately tries to get, you know, get to his feet and move. And all of a sudden you see him kind of like stumble because he is kind of frail. You know, he, he's not at full hit points, so to speak. But all of a sudden he realizes that his ailment is gone. And his Can wife full hit point? his wife immediately does the whole, he's, he is healed by the grace of Freya and Esme, the great priestess. Hail Freya, hail Esme, and she just starts bowing down with religious fervor to, to Freya and, and whispering the words that you taught them were Freya's words, and, and, and you know she just you know you see droplets of tears hitting the ground in front of her, soaking a little little puddle, and he's just like gets excited and is moving around really fast, and he's like, I. And then he stops, and then he, you know, he slowly drops to, to one knee so he could be, be face level with you. And he's just like, priestess. And he kind of like reaches out like he wants to put his hand on his shoulder, but then he waits for, you know, that, that gesture of permission to put his hand upon you. There's no permission coming. He can just keep talking. Okay. And I as such people, they don't touch me. As, as you proceed to not move into his hand, he kind of like puts his hand on his knee, and he's just like, priestess, how can I ever thank you? You've you've saved my life. I, 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 I was told by the physician in town that I would be dead before the new moon, and I can I can feel that you've healed me. I can I can breathe. And, and let's can see I hear you him from outside? You can hear him outside. You could make practice swords for my squires. <laughs> 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 wow. Um, I am going to shake my head in utter embarrassment 
and I'm going to pat him on the head and let him know that Freya has blessed him because she thought that he was worthy. His job is to spread his spread Freya's word to as many people as possible and to not be and to be as kind to others as she was to him just now. Is it time for my bath yet? It, it is time <laughs> for your bath. And speaking Yay. of time, as Jocelyn is telling her 10 little stewards what to go do, all of a sudden, what is apparently Kip has disappeared into the darkness. He said he'd be our bead for dryer time. Yep. So she, Jocelyn, she as, you're out, the darkness. as you're out there looking around, you know, you're kind of taking in the, the sights of these different shanty towns and people are like waving at you because you are a priestess and they're, they're hoping for your blessing. Uh, just as you kind of like turn around and look at one of the, you know, little shiny pieces of metal they've got as a, a like community mirror hanging off the outside of their house, you realize that uh, no one has seen you yet. But just then, your spell has faded away. I cast. I spin a sorcery point and I cast it again. So the question is: Are you going to duck away and hide and cast this spell? Or are you going to use sorcery points to do this subtly? What are you going yeah, to yeah, do? Yeah, I'm going to use subtle. Yeah. Okay. So what are you going to do? Do between the time you realize, oh my god, my horns are showing, and casting your spell to avoid being seen by people. Are you going to do a stealth to hide? Are you going to do a deception to like throw your vestments up in some holy hula to cover for you? Uh, I'm going to do a deception 100%. Okay, give me a deception roll as you realize all of a sudden you're like, shit, I'm full Jocelyn. Never mind. As you immediately do this floral uh, flourish of movement and you, you, you throw some clothes over you know the areas, you seem to be doing hard work. And pop your spell to put yourself back in disguise and because you realize that intel check was you lost track of time okay you need to um, buy yourself how, a how i'm when i've been watching these kids i know I, i've got myself situated again and i'm like okay how because i've been watching these kids so close do <laughs> any of the 10 seem like like they can't be bothered with this they're not interested um any any of them that I can start crossing off my list. Give me an insight and a perception check. So insights, oh, you okay. peering into their inner inner thought pat process, and the Is perception. She help me because I was keeping eye on them too from her. But or... you're but you're indoors with the. Oh okay. This is perception. this is going on. Well, well, you guys are inside <laughs> tending the old tending the man. Oh, I'm not doing so good. So watching them work, you're really losing track. I mean, that whole having your horn stick out for a second really threw you off your game. Insight, you found two of them that are keepers. That their intentions would be that the, 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 they're hard workers by nature. Okay, and I'm going to ask those two, what are your names? What were their names? Okay, <laughs> their name is Goth, as I'm typing this. Because that Did way you I say don't... God? Goth. <laughs> Goth? Okay. Goth and Viz. There you go. You like that? Okay. <laughs> and can I tell, like, are they both, are they boys, girls? What are they? Uh, Viz is a it girl and matter. Goth is a guy. No, just so I, in my mind, I know. Mm -hmm. I don't care either it's, way. It's they and them. <laughs> <laughs> it's them. And I'm going to ask them how old they are. Uh, they're, they're both, they look at you and they're just like, you get that sad orphan look of like, they look between 10 and 10 and 11. They're okay, having a birthday party. <laughs> it's like, we don't know when we were born. Our parents they died. They adoption day parties. I'm going to, I'm going to tell them you're doing it. Cause I'm going to assume these kids don't get praised that much. I'm going to tell, take those two and tell them, you're doing an amazing job. I'm very proud of you. And they kind of kind of beam with light for that. They, 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 they do both do the respectful, thank you, priestess. You know, obviously the, the orphanage mistress, she raises them right. I mean, orphans happen in this community, so they're not, they're not mistreated. Okay. Okay. So uh, you guys, you know, healed the old guy. I mean, all Oh, and I'm going to ask him, what does he think? Does he see any 
as Kip that reappears from whatever he was off doing. I've had them doing, I, I don't know if you heard that. I had them doing like manual labor and fixing up this, this yard to do community service. Oh, I could put a spell in my squirrel since he's my little buddy, right? You can. If it's a touch spell, he can cast it for you. Um, I want to do cure light wounds. And get that guy's health points back. Aww. Okay, and so my you're... squirrel's gonna go up and kiss him on the cheek. Oh, and he's just like, "That's a cute squirrel. I could probably make a stew out of him if he's not anyone's friend." And the squirrel kisses him on the cheek and is like, "No, no, 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 no." I want a better stick to hit things with. <laughs> <laughs> and, and immediately oh, yeah. you you heal him for eight points and he like immediately is like oh my god and he like wiggles his one shoulder and you see like old scar tissue all around it looks like you know he's he's been in, he, at one point he may have been a tough fighter type but now his muscles are swelling back to fullness and he's just like i feel i feel 20 years younger and he like jumps to his feet and he's just like woman I'm going to make something out of wood. And he picks up his carpenter's kit and he basically Insert goes, joke here. <laughs> <laughs> I wasn't even going Get there. You on. dirty fray <laughs> goddess. You yeah, priestess of Frey. Him. He needs to thank Freya with his wife. We need to get all leave him alone. <laughs> <laughs> he oh, needs God. to bless Freya with some bounce. chicka. wow. Wow. Yeah. Come he's on, kids. Not- he is up for it for the first time as, in a long time. As he oh. immediately looks at <laughs> with Twigsy and you know and and Asmi, and he's like, "I I am going to go make something. Freya has inspired me to make something, and I will bring it right to the church as soon as I am finished tonight. Thank you." And he basically, you know, sh- reaches out to shake all of your hands, including the cute little squirrel. Thank, they th- oh. thank you all. I I I I I will go and make something wonderful for the for the church and and for Freya. As you know, he's totally inspired and shit. Wow, seventeen is pretty good. As he's going to make something really nice for the church. He ain't lying. Okay, for the church of Esme, because we've decided we're renaming the shit. So we need <laughs> this, ch- this town after me too. <laughs> Just call it Esme's. Um, As Bane. Yeah. <laughs> As Bane, yes. <laughs> <laughs> Except that makes me sound like a villain, and actually, I'm here for it. <laughs> <laughs> so, what so, has Kip been up to? Me? No, Kip. Oh. Uh, I've been I've been keeping an eye on these kids here, and uh, I see a few standouts here. We got we got those. Those go-getters that are looking for the next way to help out. Those ones that are asking first before before the others. Not not the ones playing catch-up that are trying to race and beat the ones that started, but, but those that are stepping up. I, I see a few standouts here that are okay. good, good quality kids here. Give me an insight and a perception. Can't do worse than I did. Okay, so insight, you're not really seeing anybody that that seems to have the heart that you'd think either that you want or that Jocelyn would want. But you do notice two, you know, dirty 21. You notice three kids that really stick out as hardworking. Now, the question is, I got to ask, what is it you're looking for specifically to recommend to Jocelyn? I'm I'm looking for those kids that have... That have that good, good uh, go-to attitude. That they're willing to put in the work. They're they're willing to earn their positions. Okay. So uh, Kip's got three contenders for you, Jocelyn. Okay. What are their names? And then Kip's like you... names. They have names. Well, point them out, and I'll ask. What's your name? Since, you know, gender's important to you, I'll put M or F there so you know since gender's important. I mean, they're children. Their gender shouldn't matter. But just in my mind, I'm giving them... <laughs> Boobies or mustaches? 
I was, saying, I was going with like long hair or short hair, but I mean, I realize now that's very like sexist of me, but you know. Uh, I also like to point out that the kids that I'm looking for are they're they're, they're doing they're they're making their decisions for the right reasons, not not just that they're willing to work, but they're willing to work for the right reasons. Okay. So, so that that was the intention I was looking for. There's what what is your intention with your selection process? Okay, God bless you. Or Freya bless you. So I, I wanted to make question. sure is the one kid's name pronounced die like you were going to die? Like clothes die because her parents were uh fabric hippies dyers. Okay. And pretty okay. much okay, okay, she okay. was a small child. And she had dye smudges all over her, so basically, dye is the name that she got stuck with. Okay, just just. Oh my god, sure. I think I'm in. I'm in love with. I we have a Flynn Rider and we have a Gus the Mouse. <laughs> we also have Goth and Dye, and Viz. Yeah, we yeah we have Goth and Viz. It's almost like so Visigoths. Not, I'm going to tell the other five kids. That are not Flynn, Gus, Die, Viz, and Goth. That they, I appreciate their time. I give them each um, two coppers, and I send them on their way back to the the place. So you only wanted and five like instead the, of six. That's what we're going for. Okay, so uh, the other kids gladly take their two coppers and leave. The five that you have are kind of like we would like two coppers too. <laughs> Uh, I'm going to give you more than two coppers. And I explained to them how I'm going to um, let them be squires or apprentice knights and that they, um, I'm going to give them two gold a month for wages. And um, I will be gone six months, so they will be paid each month. And when I come back, I will um, take them to Gala, to, back to my home. And where they will each get an estate with land and have the option to become a knight if they want. Or if not, I will pay them 50 gold when I return for their trials um, and their time. And they can go on about their business. And is this and an honest offer? Yes. 100%. Okay. I just wanted to make sure that you weren't uh, I want to lying make sure to them. I never lie to these kids. Okay, so so they're all like, wow, we hit the lottery. What did we do to this? What do we and have to do? Like, but this is going to be hard work. You're going to have to, first off, you are now a more than a family. You are a, a, a group of apprentice knights. You look out for each other. You don't start trouble, but you take care of each other. You have to all learn to read and write. You're going to have to work on running, on moving rocks and helping out and becoming strong. And I tell them all the, all the details of it that they have to do. Um, in the meantime, then when I come back, um, I have one of the greatest swordsmen. Well, I guess now two of the greatest swordsmen that have ever walked this plane, uh, that will teach you and train you to become knights. Who's the greatest swordsman? That's my uncle Z. <laughs> <laughs> I just imagine the, like the make a man out of you montage going on in the background. <laughs> da, 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 da. I, I totally thought Goth and Viz was the old couple, not the, one of the kids. No, no, those were the first two kids that Jocelyn found. Was Tie Dye's ma mom a hippie? They were and, totally and I hippies. Sure to I make sure to tell them like you can't if, if you had an inclination to have sticky fingers before or to start fights or anything like that, that stops now. That's why you're being paid and you make sure you eat well and you take care of yourself. And whatever you're asked to do, whether it's mucking out stalls, planning, taking care of weapons, you do it and you learn to the best of your ability and you help each other out. If one of you is better at reading and one of you struggles, you all help each other out. When I come back, I'm gonna grade you as a whole, not just as individuals. Ooh, damn, Secret Swim is a team. Give me yeah. a persuasion or intimidation with advantage for your pep talk. Skulls for life. <laughs> oh, God, I hate doing... Okay, I'll do intimidation, although I feel like that's really mean. <laughs> so a solid 13. 
That's not bad for intimidating a bunch of kids. As, as you're basically giving them the Cobra Kai speech of uh, you yes. sink or swim as a group. Cobra Kai with a little bit of Braveheart flair in there, you know. <laughs> Freedom! Totally, totally kick ass. They yeah, can take your families, but they can't take your freedom. Yes. Okay, so my you first killed the guy made me ring a bell and shout freedom. <laughs> so they basically ask you, so are we still living at the orphanage? We're going to I'm going to talk to the accolade and get you rooms at the church. Oh, does that mean I can become a paladin of the church? You can become a knight. Fuck that and shit. we'll see where we go from there. You're still young. I'm not going to press religion on you yet. But you can become a knight and from there you can decide what you want to do. Okay, so needless to say, your five little followers uh, are, are totally on board with the idea. Because it's way yeah. better than living in an orphanage. Saving yes. kids one day at a time. It absolutely is 100% better than living in an orphanage. Okay, so on your living way the back church through... Is better than living in an orphanage? I think we had to determine that yet. Unless it's a church orphanage. Right, and then it's just hell on earth. Then it's the worst of both worlds. Yes. Okay, so on your way back, you know, conveniently the bathhouse is on the way, so I assume you guys are stopping off at your appointment for the bathhouse? Yes. Absolutely. I gotta keep this place nice and prim. I don't they think have... you're allowed to go in. We're at an all-girls bathhouse. Yeah. The the, I... the matron who runs the place is, like, totally cool with having two priestesses come to bathe at her bathhouse, and she's just, like, totally cool with it. She's just, like, she looks at our ranger, and she's just, like, I can send your clothes out for a good, good scrubbing if you would like. She said you're dirty. I don't care. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, you know, it's expensive to clean armor. <laughs> Are you know, the kids dirty? Uh, you're you're following uh, of kids. Basically, they they're orphans. They're fairly clean, though. the 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 matron who runs the place keeps the kids spick and span. It's okay, the so one in thing. Opinion, they're clean. For, for as peasant opinion goes, they are clean because it's the one thing that a that a poor person can still control is their cleanliness. Because water, thank the gods, is still free. Okay. Um, I'm going to... I guess we'll... Because we'll, the kids can't go in. Because guys can't go in, right? This is a girls-only joint? Yep, it's a girls-only joint. You've got the beautiful smell of the bath oils. As Kip's there, and she's totally like, Go! Go! There's a tavern across the street that's got a bath that's only been used two or three times by this time of day. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm not gonna go in because Kip can't go in. And she's like, and no peeking. We we have no holes in our walls to peek and look at lovely ladies, especially so these fine come priestesses. In and take a bath. Nope, I'm not going to. <laughs> I'm gonna I'm gonna go over not to the bar because I got the kids. <laughs> I'm gonna go. You have just... a shit ton of kids, actually. <laughs> no, five of them. I sit on their way. I just. Five is a five. shit ton. Five is a whole. We only thing. have five. <laughs> yeah, I only have five of. Them. That's not. That's not. I mean. Oh, I'm sorry. Is that half of a shit ton? <laughs> that's like AJ's clan. I'm fine. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he has a shit ton of kids. <laughs> Anything yeah, more than three gonna... is a shit ton. You know what? I changed my mind. I'm gonna tell Kip. Why don't you work with them a little bit? I'll be back, and I'm gonna go take a bath. <laughs> <laughs> and, style. and all of a sudden he's got to do fatherly details press the digitation him clean he's fine uh, I'm gonna go. How, how bad do I smell right now well since she press the digitation you, you actually smell clean yeah I'll even do an extra press the digitation to give him like, like a nice you know tobacco pine nice man cologne he smells like Thor. Hair. Who knows how can he, how he does it, but he smells that good. He brushes hair for him. <laughs> now I let him do that himself. <laughs> okay, so just, so the four of you ladies well, go so in. I use that bathtub anyway. 
The, the four of you ladies go in to bathe and leave Kip with the kids. I think Kip got yes. screwed in this deal. No, I'm hoping he can like, like, like hone in on him because I'm going to try to make him in charge of them. Start, start teaching them to tumble. The, the, the... So you guys went from like, um, <laughs> like some weird like soap opera drama romance. And now he's your babysitter. <laughs> <laughs> No, I'm going to. I'm going to make him my knight commander, and these are my knights. Man, you guys, you guys need more television. No, the music. This is the worst breakup ever. <laughs> <laughs> no more flirting. Have some kids. Now that we have children, episode. you can't leave me, Kip. De debut episode of Seven is Company. <laughs> you know I'm not going to try to do cool stuff anymore I'm just going to go back to killing people and burning stuff down because y'all loved that before <laughs> I mean she's really oh, just giving Kip that? five shields to protect him when Granny Goodness shows up to revenant his ass oh god <laughs> well she'd have to make it through the gate so we're okay <laughs> <laughs> and again remember she's a couple months behind you guys Right now, the camera pans yeah. after to, to her in the forest running after you guys. Oh, I kind of wish she would show up right now. They'd be like, ma'am, I'm going to need you. To as as her revenant lips just creak and she goes, honeysuckle. <laughs> honeysuckle. Wherever she goes, people are going to have a horrible uh, aversion to honeysuckle. <laughs> we're going we're gonna to get to like new towns where we ask for honeysuckle something and they're like oh, you can't say those words <laughs> there's, like the there's, rumor has preceded us there, there's a demon in the so forest the and she says time. honeysuckle before she before runs through your camp I want you guys to know that you knowledge. ruined me for real life I was playing a board game blank slate and the word was honey blank and obviously <laughs> no one in real life put honeysuckle <laughs> <laughs> no, it was like honey beer, honey pot, and I was like, "Okay, normals." <laughs> if it was, if it was, was that categories? You got would have got bonus. Points. Yeah, I love categories. <laughs> <clears throat> okay, so so Kip is teaching them acrobatics, doing cool flippy flip stuff, and they're just like, "Ooh!" Is there's one girl who's really athletic in acrobatics, and she's like picking up quick. Is it die? It, it is die. She's a hippie. <laughs> <laughs> Hippies are bendy. It's a thing. Double jointed. It's a thing. Grew up doing yoga. <laughs> doing yarn yoga. You know, when you're dipping the yarn in the vats, you know, you learn to be flexible. With a goat on your back. <laughs> <laughs> Dying I fabric goat yoga. I signed up for goat, goat yoga. yoga and they canceled it. I was so sad. No. But if the goat pooped next to where you were like downward dogging and then you slipped and you fell in the poop. They, <laughs> dress them in, they dress them in costumes. They're like I've gone to that. It's very dirty. They, they have little costume out, diapers. Dirty. You get poop on you. There's a place up the road from here where you can go sit in the courtyard and have co coffee and tea with goats. They're oh like a goat God. playground. You can go have your tea in. I love goats. <laughs> They're so pretty. They coffee want again? a goat. There is a cat cafe where you can go in like Tempe by like College Town, where you go and you like drink coffee and you like pet the cats that live there. No, we have one like, here in Tucson. Yeah. I've, every I have, every they, small business here has stray cats walking through there. So, <laughs> I mean, part of me, they, I have very mixed feels because I want to sit and like pet a kitty cat. And like drink my coffee and be left alone, but at the same time, I question about like how like sanitary that is. Yeah, we, we, go, we go to the local nursery, to go get plants and stuff. Cat walking around. Yeah, ours go here in Tucson. Store, is... Cat. <laughs> ours in Tucson is owned by one of the actual couch shelters, and so it's like a way to try to adopt them. The, I like the, it. The seed and pet like farm store, like pet store across the street. It's cat walking through the store. Oh. You know, if it was Mesa, you could set up some spay neuter traps and uh, cut down on that population control. Like, just a little population control there. There you go, yeah. getting that little nick ear. Nick the ear. Yeah. In Mesa, you have to do that yourself because cats are protected and the city won't do anything about it. Uh, you know what, though? If you contact the city of Mesa, 
They will give you the traps and they will do the fixing and then you re-release them. That's and actually cool. And then they cool. kind of their ear off. Yeah, they do that nick so that way you can yeah. see from a distance that they've been clipped. I got yeah, the- in when I lived in my duplex in Mesa and I think we caught 17 strays oh, and um, wow. like made it so they would stop reproducing. You Bob Barkered yeah. that shit. In, in Puerto Rico, they have a place called Save Gato in San Juan, which is like the touristy town. And the people take care of the, 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 the stray cats because they, the thing about Puerto Rico, there are rats. <laughs> and, mm-hmm. You know, a big rat population. You see traps everywhere. You don't see these big, ugly traps in San Juan because the cats are kind of keeping down. Like they're taken care of and they're fed, but not well fed so they still hunt the rats to eat them they still do actually their job. my cat yeah my cat is from one of those shelters in puerto rico where they the hermitage took some of their cats when hurricane maria happened save agatos uh, save agatos save agatos save ever it <laughs> is. and it has save and then their 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 uh, counterpart for dogs is save asato which is a mutt, which means mutt. Mm. <laughs> so there's Save the Gato and Save Asato. I could just see a guy come up in a mask and he says, My name is El Gato. Save me. <laughs> you are my only hope. That's cute. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so after the bathhouse extravaganza, as there's bathhouse montage, if you guys are doing your thing, at one point, Jocelyn goes under the bubbles, being all cute, because it's two baths to a room, then comes up as her demon self and really quickly burns another point to, to, to cast illusion on betting. And she's reeling, really, shit, this is getting expensive in spells. Well, I'm not... Nobody's in there but me and... It's our private me? time, so she just, she yeah. can let the spell wear off. Who's your just, yeah, I'm not going to use subtle spell. I'm just going to cast my spell. Little mermaid splashing out of the ocean. <laughs> <laughs> With little horns instead of the <laughs> <laughs> oh, It's holy water. It's washing away her illusions. <laughs> <laughs> special, <laughs> special <laughs> alkaline water. They're like, something's wrong with this water. <laughs> See, that's my plan when I come back from, like, if we defeat, like, the evil vampire king, he's done something to me and I've changed. Like, instead of PTSD, I got horns and wings now, but it's cool. (laughs) (laughs) And that purple, no big. (laughs) You know, purple demon face happens, right? I fell in a vat of acne. It's a condition. It's a condition. You should discriminate her because of her condition. (laughs) Oh, my God, you're cursed. He cursed you but with his dying breath. His dying breath. (laughs) (laughs) You name one kid die and the die jokes keep going. Okay, so after your bath montage, you guys get all cleaned up. Your clothes get cleaned. You know, you guys head back to the church. So, Esme, are you going to help Jocelyn sell the idea that these kids are going to live at the church to the acolyte? I mean, I'm just going to assume that that's what she, I mean, she's leaving them in town. She's adopting them from the orphanage and she's not taking them. Why, why wouldn't they be staying at the church? Where else would they stay? But are you going to assist when Jocelyn lays down the law to the acolyte? I mean, probably. Okay. I mean, it depends on how the approach, I mean, I'm assuming that that's like, if, if she's been talking like the acolyte's going to teach them to read and write, my assumption is, obviously, the acolyte has agreed to this. Why wouldn't the kids be staying here? Okay. And that will be my that will be my my stance is well. Obviously, this is what she's been talking about. Aren't you going to be teaching them the ways of Freya? Like, why wouldn't you do this? Okay, so so so, Lexa, have Jocelyn give us a intimidation or persuasion with advantage as you're explaining to the acolyte what's what, and you tell us what you're explaining to her. Um, nice. I'm just going to tell her that this town needs more um, needs more candidates. Canadians. Uh, to, <laughs> Canadians. <laughs> Basically it? needs more candidates Make and it? needs more people that are able to bring the light back to this part of the world. So I need her to take these children and to teach them to read, write, botany, um, and, and manners. 
um, so that they can help and they will help with the church. They will help with the, in the community, you know, and I'll let her know all the stuff that they can do, helping mend weapons, all that kind of stuff. Uh, and that I feel that this is a calling. This is my calling and this is their calling and this is their chance and her chance to change lives and to make Ooh. this town better. Look at that inspirational shit. Okay. I and taught church. She adopted kids. Look at us being like chaotic good and shit. <laughs> oh, I'm not chaotic good. But <laughs> I said being. So, of course, she, she sets them up in the, 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 the cells, you know, so that way the kids can, you know, get their rooms. Di gets lucky and gets a room to herself. And then the uh, acolyte says, no, no, we'll share a room. You know, so they can become besties. Oh, and uh, so she is totally on board with, with taking care of these kids and raising them. And she just basically says, should I take care of them with the church's resources? Of yes. course. And then, of course, almost... And technically, in they're, going to be, they're going to be paying their way around here. If you uh, need help painting, fixing anything, they'll be at it. And the yeah, kids are very quick to point the out charge, the right? uh, the gold payment that you're going to be offering them. And she just and I looks tell at, him, no, that is for you. And, and, and yeah, you know, she looks at you like, where's this gold coming from? <laughs> the last time I checked, I did not have to explain myself to you. No, no, she's basically just asking <laughs> where you're sending their inheritance. You said you're giving them money. Where is it coming from? I mean, are you, are you mailing it here? Is it? She's oh, wanting to make sure you're not taking yes. it out of the, oh, okay. the church coffer. Got you. No, I'm like, wow, and you went to there. You to distribute Mind your today. business. <laughs> and I, and I, expect... I make my money how I make my money. <laughs> <laughs> I know, I was about to be like, girl. Um, the money will be sent to you, and you will distribute it to them. When it comes in, um, and I expect, you know, while I'm away for you to take care of them as you would me. When you look at them, you see me. Mm, she's like, damn, I just use a blind side. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I'm going to like poke around and go like, maybe think of me. <laughs> like, <laughs> or Esme, whichever one you feel like is appropriate and, and she she's you know yeah yes high priestess and, and while you were gone and she kind of goes over to a little alcove and she pulls out a scroll and she hands a scroll to jocelyn and said uh, while, while you were gone the general's messenger came by and dropped this message off for you obviously words reached his ears that there's a priestess in, or two in town as she looks at esme and just like sorry i didn't mean to exclude you no offense don't smite me I like you. Uh, no, no. Where, where are our rooms? I would like to go read and, and consult Esme on what we want to do next. We so gave up you, our rooms to the kids. You do know that there's now a shortage of rooms because there was enough to put eight people up in the church, and you now have uh, 11 people in the church. Okay. That's fine. Not a problem. We can, we can double bunk. I'm tiny. I can share a bed with anyone I feel like it. <laughs> our, our priestess, our actual priestess, and our, our druid could sleep together with their little feet, barely touching each other. <laughs> well, then I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to step away into a room for some privacy. It doesn't have to be a bedroom. And I'm going to read whatever this note says. I want to know what it says. Uh, basically, it's an official summonings from General... Garrus, that uh, he is, it has come to his attention that, uh, or it has come to my attention, I should say, that uh, there is a priestess at the temple, and I would like to see you post haste. Only a priestess? Well, th if that's... we have to pay rock scissor who's going, I still don't think we should go, we should go alone. So we should both go, actually. But um, there is a little gif in the in the Skype reminding us of what time it is. Yep. As uh, the message basically says, uh, a messenger will be at the temple to bring you to the general's you know location uh, after the morning service, of course. 
They will be ready and waiting from dawn until nine bells, basically nine o'clock. And well, we all know that church is only good for like the first half hour of sunrise, you know, but that's, that's if somebody wants to come for a sunrise, you know, sermon, which anybody who believes in the Lord of light would totally want to do. You got me. I'm going to church. I'm going to look at Kip and say, in Cajun, we got to get out of here quick in the morning. So make sure we're ready to go. First thing. All right. <laughs> and do you tell to anybody else in the group about it before you guys all go to bed and have your very, very sparse church dinner, which is basically like porridge and bread. But you could press to it to make it taste better. Yes, I will. I will do that. For everybody to make it taste like, <laughs> I just uh, learned that. Yes, <laughs> it now That's tastes like uber tastes cinnamon. Like, I made his beer taste like honeysuckle tea, and he got mad at me <laughs> <laughs> because it was too soon. <laughs> That's never too soon for glasses honeysuckle tea. I make, uh, I make it taste like uh, like a really amazing savory like stew. And then, like, awesome, like, something sweet. Because there were two options, right? Something's going to be, like, a sweet dessert, and the other's going to be, like, a savory stew. Okay, so basically all the kids and the priestess and the acolyte, she's just, like, looking at you in awe as you made all of their bowls of porridge into this amazing-tasting food. Oxtail and treacle tarts. As she proceeds to look at the children and say, don't expect this kind of dinner every night. Expect it to look like this, not taste like this. <laughs> for now, for now, as knights, you'll have your own money to be able to buy and eat whatever you want. <laughs> okay, so as you guys, you know, basically go to bed, is there any plotting you're doing with each other for tomorrow? Did we want uh, to, like, give a really good impression on the town? Because we please. could do like the grow plants thing and give them like a really good garden. Be like, this is what the mark we left. That way, if we come back, they like us. That, that would be huge. I healed but, a half dead man and I gave them church. Like, I feel like you doing a garden would be an awesome thing to do as well. Like we could do like a church garden if they yeah. have like land. Remember her. She does have that massive herb garden for healing herbs. Yeah. Make sure you have a large enough tree to put a doorway through. <laughs> <laughs> Plant some magic apple seeds. <laughs> we'll need those that's later. Doesn't have to be magic. Just make sure there's a tree that we can do uh, step Did by tree, or not to mention, or the one where you can travel by vines. The the tree teleport. Yeah. Oh, the sun tree. Plant a yeah. sun tree. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Matthew McConaughey. Plant Matthew McConaughey in the middle of the garden. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, so that's going to be a good place to wrap it up there. So, wrap it so up, yeah, right there. And just to make sure, I sent my letters off. I, I put put them in the mail. Okay, so see, I'm going to totally be a jerk and say, yeah, go ahead and write up the gist of those letters. And you can ah, share it with the group. You gave yourself homework. Oh, I can do that. That's fine. I thought you'd like that as homework. You want it right now? No, not right now, oh. silly. <laughs> I was like, like, hold on. Like a moon from now. You have plenty of time. Yes. Okay, As she whips out her phone and starts using type to talk to type. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm putting letter, so I remember to do it. <laughs> so does anybody do anything else through the night special? So we can start right at dawn. I want to do something. I want to t tell the group. I, I have something I want to show you when the moon's up. And I'm going to take the little priestess, that little accolade, and I'm going to go out there and I'm going to do a knighting ceremony and I'm going to knight Kip and I'm going to make him a knight commander and a member of the Order of the Thistle. Aww. All the glare. And hopefully I try to call on the moon since like my family is from a moon type lineage. And hopefully if I do it right, like I, <laughs> I glow. Okay. So, so uh, really, really cool. are, are you doing yes. this from history or religion? Yeah, what makes him knightable? What if he? What? Are, how are you able to knight him? I'm I'm royalty. She's knighting this so, shit out of her ass. I'm a lady. Oh, you can't see it. 
<laughs> I'm a high lady. That's a high lady. That doesn't mean what you think it means. This is from a book, actually. <laughs> so, yeah. uh, anyway. what, what were you asking? <laughs> so, so give me a deception because you once watched Dragonheart and you reenacted the ceremony that every Renfer does now. <laughs> History. No, I mean, I I've seen my grandma, or I've seen somebody do this. I've seen my mom do it. Mm -hmm. she, History because you've seen it done for reals, or religion because you saw it in a religious text somewhere. So one of those three skills, no advantage. Oh, oh I can do religion, deception, or history. Okay. Holy shit, those dice love you. <laughs> so. I don't believe he's actually a knight. <laughs> <laughs> You're just telling everyone. The, she's the basically pantomiming this <laughs> ritual so well that you all are like, holy shit, maybe she has seen one of these before. I don't know. I don't buy it. I don't buy it. Whatever. <laughs> so, and I'm going to write another letter tonight, or two more letters tonight. Sorry, three more letters tonight. <laughs> <laughs> due to each of two to two different um, guilds of the Order of the Thistle, so that way hopefully one reaches them to register him, and then one to my uncle Z, letting him know what's going on. That I've 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 chosen my knight commander. Then comes the question of how much are you going to pay for a messenger to deliver these notes? How much? Well, okay. From what I've seen of this town, does this seem like a good place to send a letter, or do I know of? somewhere that we're going to be going that has better postal services. Give me a history <laughs> roll. Can I ask Callista? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I All of a sudden, history. she's interested in having some time with Callista. I mean, you I can, can totally ask her. Roll. That's fine. Hey, hey, Callista, do you know where we're going? Because you're from well, Wallachia, right? Is that where you're from? Uh huh. Is there a better, is there a pretty good postal service there, or am I better off sending mail from here? Santa Raven. Talia, you there? Yeah, I'm sorry. Oh. What happened? Sorry. <laughs> is it, oh, from, from Calissa's knowledge of Wallachia, is it better, is mail more likely to get to where it's supposed to go if I send it from here or Wallachia? Um, so what do I have to roll for this, Jim? Uh, so you don't have to roll for this. You know for a fact it okay. basically costs money to get messengers dropped to go to different places because remember, you yourself with Twigsy were the messenger that went to the church yeah. down in the south. Okay, that makes sense. So I explained that. So basically it's coinage talks and usually it's a certain coinage per hundred miles they have to travel. A message like walks. this would probably cost her like a hundred gold to get someone to deliver it because basically you're telling someone to go through the deep, dark, horrible forest and then pirate held territories and then down to for the hundred gold. They'll deliver all those letters for a hundred gold. They'll deliver one of those letters. You could probably get them to chip in the other three for 20 gold each on top of the original hundred since they're almost going the whole way already. Of just, it's only another 20. So for 140, you could probably talk somebody to do it. You could totally bargain shop, but you get what you pay for when you're basically asking for the nearest drunk to take the letter. I'll tell him I'll give you 133. Okay, but we'll worry about that tomorrow when you're sending your mail off oh. at the next game. Okay. Because you're going to have to find somebody and see, see who wants to go venturing off with scrolls and cash. Oh, man, I wish I could send a, a message telepathically <laughs> the so message bad. spell they, is they, awesome they don't do message by by raven or or, or pigeon or anything yeah. like that uh, they do but it's really unreliable because there's uh, a lot of things things eat. might eat them yes yeah there's a reason sense. why our hunter was sent with the message to make sure it got delivered I mean, you can totally ask caravans to do it when they'd make their spring travel and their their Forget autumn it. travel. It's fine. I'm going to two times, two times five is ten, ten times six is sixty. I'll just give the lady sixty gold before I leave. God damn! How you? How much gold do you got? 
happy about what I'm doing with my life. I'm <laughs> <laughs> just making sure you have the gold. I have 60 gold. She's basically leaving all of her fortune into her knight's hands. Okay, so like, that's where we're going to... We're going to wrap it up for the night as as she's leaving money. I'm sorry, like falling asleep here. It's okay. It it is past 11. So we got to, we got to wrap it up. Don't worry. Tomorrow I'll be snoring because the camera will be off. (laughs) 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 I'll just be like, like next to my computer snoring for you guys. And then I'll wake up and then play for 20 more minutes. And then it'll be time to go home. I mean, I'm already home, but you know. Time to roll over and go to sleep for reals. Uh, Brittany, I'm going to, uh, Ooh. Jim, can you give Brittany my phone number since I don't have any way to, sure. to text that? So we can yeah. arrange for, for Glowforge and also Megan to get my phone. Screw it. My phone number is. I don't care. Well, well don't good. say it. You don't say it. Just type it into the Skype. Okay. That's what I need to say. I was going to say, don't give your All phone right. number out to the world, girl. You don't, don't want know. that to happen. I am <laughs> so tired. Yeah, we can just message on Skype. Because remember, you can message on Skype when, even when we're not gaming. This this group channel stays just oh, between the groups. So, okay. are you well, kidding? So, you can use Skype yeah, to just, send PDFs oh. to each other. That's that's better than freaking yeah. YouTube. So there is so people so people can text me since I am I can't get on Facebook and I don't know how much longer this is gonna last. Does anyone a road trip to Maricopa so I can buy that mirror? <laughs> Mia Copa, Mia Copa. Uh, they're Thank like. You. I give you the. I give you my brooch, by the way. You now have a brooch with like jewels. It, it was nice. The only nice thing I had, it was like back on the back of my cape, hidden, so it wouldn't be stolen. It's it's very nice. It's worth a lot of money. It has actual jewels in it. It's it's my family crest. It's the order of the thistle. It's my. It's something my uncle Z gave me. It's very nice. She's now prepped you totally for sacrifice. <laughs> 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 all right, I, all right. Uh, yeah, I'm passionate. All right, all right. I love you guys. Good night, guys. Bye. Bye. <laughs> Wait, bye. Right, bye. Oh, I had a question for you, Jim. Oh, what's your question? Uh, because I can switch my spell slots out, which I just learned about last session. Can uh-huh. we load all the druid spells in, and then I can pick them out for the day? Does roll twenty uh, let you do that? Roll twenty doesn't, but I can start putting some stuff, some of them in there. If you if you know what spells you want, I can copy paste them in there for you. Okay, is it easier for you to do that? Because it's like nine years long if I do it. it. It's easier for me to do it if you want to just send me the list of what spells you want, and I'll add them in there for you. Okay. I Kim, I just made you like one of the highest ranking people in this town, by the way. <clears throat> and if I die, you get my lands. <laughs> but, but you also made them all think I was the town idiot. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, Kip did that all like, on his own. Why? Why would you do that? I'd be like to protect you. <laughs> and I, I already thought a whole like if they're like, why would you do that? Why would you make him your knight commander to protect you? Because the order of the thistle, they won't hurt you. I made you not worth killing. <laughs> Have a good night, guys. Bye. Bye. Good night. Bye.